So you know what? I just, I literally just double checked, <laughs> double checked the embargo time. They've changed it from April to fucking May. So, okay, let's not do that. Let's do Manor Lords instead. <laughs> Oh, fuck's sake. Hang on. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it's fine. I can do that. I was, I was like, fit that in. Then, uh, yeah, maybe not. I think they did. They, they what was it? Well, maybe I'm just blind. I don't know. I'll do mana. We'll do that. Mana Lords. Mana Lords. Sorted. Glad you checked. Yeah, fucking suck of so am I. Um... There we go. It's me. Hi. Uh, yeah, so it's not, it's not going to be that. It's going to be something different. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. We'll do Man Lords instead. Uh, I wanted to stream on Man Lords. God, did they change that? May Hang on. I was sure it was... Unless I'm just being stupid. Did they change it? Yes. Yeah, so the, oh, fuck. So the, the so the embargo was April eighteenth. And they changed it and then they, they sent a new email saying it's the twentieth, and I was like, that's fine. It's like a couple of days. That's that's you know that's fine. But no, they changed it to May. It's a month late. <laughs> so thank you for Thyrus for putting that little I was like, oh fucking Thyrus, god damn it, he's made me it's made me doubt myself again. Oh, thank God for Thyrus. Holy shit. That would have been a boo-boo. Yeah, we're not doing that. <laughs> That's why I should read the fucking emails. Um, right. Good. 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 Hang on. I need to... What am I doing? What am I doing? Sorting my life out. Oh, God damn it. Hang on, change. I'll change this to that one. There we go. And we'll change this as well. Change this. Sort that. Right, done. No one will know any different. <laughs> the perfect crime. It's fine. <laughs> Aliens. This is. This is all about aliens, this game. All about, all about the aliens. I know what I'm doing a bit more this time. Good. <laughs> also, yes, thank you. I'll, yeah, I'll change that. Uh, Ed, well, I'll see, pause this. This is so professional, I know what I'm doing. Uh, d d what? S streaming some mana lords. Yay. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Sorted it. Aced it. Aced it. Um, do you start to work in your dressing gown? No, I usually get myself dressed before I sit down to work. But there have been occasions where I may have checked my emails in my dressing gown. Thyrus the MVP. Super the MVP. Holy shit, what an MVP. Right. What we got? What we got? I mean, I'm still not entirely 100% sure how to play this game, but I definitely am better at it. Berries is garbage. What about fertility? What's our fertility looking like? Uh, and, oh, okay. Fertility's looking good. That's that's pretty nice. Bugger all berries, though. No clay. No iron. Barely any wild animals. It's not great, I'll be honest. Um, good. I was waiting to see the new video for the members. No, I want to stop the stream. Yeah, so the, um, the, yeah, so that, that is the last Oxyotl video because basically the patch broke it and I kind of can't be, but it takes me like four hours to update. So to play the, the DLC, we have to update it, but then to roll back, we have to update it again. Just update down down date it down date it we have to down date it so 
each time it's like basically patching the game for a DLC. So it takes me like four hours to update it. So if I sit down and go, all right, I need to do some recording for, I don't know, the DLC video or something. And I realize I haven't updated it. I'm like, well, fuck, that's out the window then. I lost count of how many times it's broken. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't happen a huge amount. <laughs> Especially because, see, I don't patch their game very much. Um, yes, good job, Thyrus, for uh, for not for, for for reminding me. Good. What a what a guy, what a fucking guy. Right, what am I doing? Right, we're doing. Oh, do I like this start? It's not great, but it'll it'll do. It'll do. It will suffice. Right, first things first. We're going to build a logging camp, and we're going to build a logging camp somewhere reasonably close to where we're going to be building our town um probably not over here maybe over here maybe over here maybe something something like that seems pretty pretty good a little bit of a windy road because it looks nice lovely right get that one going build that one we're all good we're all good no one panic Maybe the announcement that there's an embargo put me in a good mood. Can't say anything about it now. <laughs> but look, I, I love the demo. The demo is great. It's got a lot of good humour in it, the demo. And I loved things like Startopia and Two Point Hospital. So a game that kind of meshes those things together can only be good. fucking change of the month uh, also fuck me for not reading my emails properly just half arsing reading them mind you this week has been the week from fucking hell um so it's basically can't, can't, so last week i was at disneyland which was great and on the way back, we had uh, a six hour delay on the flight, which is a nightmare. Got back to the car. The car had a dead battery, which wasn't great. So that took another two hours to get us jump started. So we were eight hours late starting off for home, which is a, is a lot, you know, especially when you're flying from France. France realistically takes you about, we took, the flight was about 50 minutes. And then it took us. So, so realistically, we should have been home quite quite early in the day, and it just we got home just before midnight. Um, so that was exhausting. So we're like, "Fuck! I need to get the car to the garage." That's a whole extra, you know, pain in the ass to do. So we managed to book it into the garage. Um, garage was the city, the other side of the nearest city. So I was driving the car there because I could jump start it. So I jump started the car, drove it over there. My wife was following in my car. No problem. The idea was that I drop, drop the other car off. She picks me up in my car. Fine. I get the car with a dead battery to, a ga to the garage. Get a call from my wife panicking because she's she's just been she's just driving around a roundabout on the other side of the city. And she hears a clunk and the exhaust has fallen off my car. Do you not use the tunnel? Oh, we're kind of like the because Cornwall is like basically the other side of the UK from Kent. It would take us about six hours to drive to the Channel Tunnel, whereas it takes us like two hours to drive to the airport. So I think next time we might take the train, but the problem is the trains the trains are so expensive. It costs it would cost us about three hundred quid just to get the train from Cornwall to the channel tunnel not even including the channel tunnel cost so it's just fucking ridiculous at that point you just think it's just cheaper to fly silly okay we're building that one that's nice um catch the feeling of startopia much more than its sequel it does and it what i what i really like about galactic air is it's got su the humor in it is really is genuinely really good Ah, uh -huh. from Cornwall. Yes, yes, yes. 
so that so that was a nightmare. So basically, we had one car with a dead battery, another one with no exhaust. So at one point, we had no cars. So I had to take a day off work, basically, to go and sort car shit out. Which is a fucking nightmare. And then, um, that evening, after we had no cars, my glasses broke in two places. <laughs> and they're my only pair. So uh, I've also had to call up the opticians to basically go, can I get some new frames, please? I will write back and I will say, nope. I don't really know what this does. That you can negotiate. But there's not much. I'm assuming this is like early, early access stuff. That's fine. Uh, good. Good. I, I would say that the humour in Galactic Air is is even better. I think it's genuinely just a very well written game. Like the, just the the conversations between the different characters are, are genuinely very good. Um, I like the sardonic sort of main computer guy, especially talking to the little the little robot who sounds like Ash from Pokemon, <laughs> I've decided. Look at that little look at that little cow. Um we need to get some more ox early on, I think is probably so we'll build this. I think we've almost got that one done. Yep, that's good. Uh, we need some food, so we'll get some get some wildlife theme jigs. Maybe put you like doesn't really matter, sort of like there maybe. I don't know if you need to put it in the circle, or if anything in the circle will stop it. I'm assuming I'll just put it, I'll just whack it there. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. Let's pop him there. Something like that. Ah. Ah, nice. We're back for another rushed RTS or more relaxed approach version of Man Laws this time. I think, you know what? Man Laws is fairly chill. Although I did forget to reduce the number of bandit attacks, so... I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure I won't get mauled by a bajillion bandits this time around. Right, we've got the logging camp, that's good. We probably want some people, in fact, probably more people doing that because the more timber we have, the better. We've still got three people constructing. So that's generally fine and probably what I want to do fairly early on is get another hitching post. Now, I think we've got one down here. Uh, we probably want one. Uh, I might stick one around here somewhere. So we'll do that too. And then we'll use what, what regional wealth we have to get another moo cow. I think that's quite important. That's the hitching post, isn't it? Yeah. Good. Because they transport stuff, and if you don't if you've only got one moo cow, then you're only moving one thing at a time, like wooden shit, apparently. You should dedicate a religion to them. Let's not go over let's not go overboard. Taking out jabs. There you go. He's he's dragging. He's dragging a little bit of wood there. Oh, which is fine. And we'll get another one. And uh, we've got a hunting cow. Oh, we've got... Okay, okay, okay. Good, good, good. That was finished a lot quicker than I thought it would be. That's nice. And uh, where's my berries? My berries are over here. So I'll do something like uh, that, I guess. And then just like... Ooh, that's a bit wonky. Uh, if I do that... And then that. There we go. There we go. That's that's looking pretty good. Right, and then we need some houses. Now, where am I going to build my houses? Look like down here. Prob yeah, I'm probably going to build them around here. I think something like this. So if I do, right. So we're going to build some houses. Right. Well, we're going to wait until we've built the hitching post and. The forager hut first. Now, you don't get more people until you increase your approval. So I need to increase my approval. My, my approval. Um, no, I'll, wait until, I'll wait until that's done. I'll wait until that one's done. Good. Speed it up a little bit. 
Um, so I've been playing this game quite a bit. I really like it, actually. It's it's definitely not... I, I still see some people saying, oh, it's a competitor to Total War, and it's really not. Uh, you want a market thingy magic, which is fine. We can build... Uh, something like that. That's our market. Do I want it there? Hmm, actually, you know what? I might change my mind. Um, I might, like, slap it somewhere here. Nope, here. Uh, because that's a little bit more central. So let's do something like that. Uh, we also need a well, which doesn't need to be central for some reason. Don't ask me why. Stick it anyway. Um, so that's since they can only see one aspect of the game. Yeah, I mean the combat's fine. It's it's just it's it's fairly basic, which is fine because it does exactly what it needs to. I don't don't see a problem with that. And maybe over time it will expand a little bit, and that'd be great. But at the moment, it, it just does what it does, and it's uh, it's pretty good. Uh, if we put one more, how many how many how many timber do we have? Eight. Eight is not bad. Um. How did we change? I can't remember how we changed that. Doesn't matter. Right, if I do that and that. Right, I need 12 wood. I don't, because it says you can get like a... You, you can sometimes get like double houses on a, on a space, but I don't... I think maybe it happens by accident, like if there's like a weird positioning. Sometimes you can get like a second spot on a house. The first sentence was that it's not a total war killer. Exactly, they literally said it's not a total war killer, and they're right. It's not. It doesn't. It doesn't do that, and that's fine. It does what it does, and that's good. Come on, I need some more woods. Where's my woods? I want to build six, six slots. Where's my slots? Come on. Didn't even know I need to put. Oh, there we go. Oop. Right. Homeless, exposed goods. Yes, we need to we do need to build a, a granary, which I'm going to put. I might put it around you know what, I'm gonna stick it there. And then a storehouse, which I'm also gonna stick there. There we go. Right, now we just need to tick along building stuff. Uh, we would need some more timber. Huh, <laughs> wood. Hello, Naffy. Actually, you know what? I'm going to... Just out of interest. Uh, I'm just going to check. <laughs> I don't think I'm the only person that caught out. <laughs> can see a few more videos for Galactic Air are still up. Oops. Oh well, never mind. Not my problem. I, I dodged it. <laughs> Thanks to Thyrus. <laughs> Bless his heart. Okay, got some houses, which is good, uh, because homelessness seems to increase over time. So the sooner you can get that homelessness down, the better. I think it increases by two, like re reduces two um, every every month. So the sooner you can get people in houses, the better, because then it'll start dissipating. Uh, so we've got water access, we need church access, which obviously is fine. Uh, where is the, there's the wooden church, so... Have enough good oh because we don't have we don't have a thingy we need a thingy uh no yep no yep no no what am i looking for that one need a saw pit 
Um, so, if I stick you here. Just keep that ticking along. I'm still trying. Beca because, Thyrus, you made me doubt myself. You made me, you made, you made me doubt myself. You gave me a sense of anxiety. <laughs> you gave me an anxiety attack. <laughs> because of that, I checked. <laughs> we should name an ox after him. You're right, we should. We should. Hardworking, hardworking ox. Although I don't know if that actually works. Um, where is it? Hang on. Livestock. I, I, I've tried renaming things and it doesn't seem to stick. I don't know if it's, that's me or not. Um, let's get another. We'll order another ox. Where are. Where is. Where is the ox? There he is. Oh, do I need to click on the hitch? Okay. Hitching post. Livestock. So if I, if I name it, and then go off, and then go back, it just, it resets itself. Please no more anxiety attacks. It was, it was a very, it was a very, it was, it was more sort of a, an anxiety hiccup. More sort of a, shit, this is the right date, isn't it? I always get like a panic over embargo dates. And I was like, I'm, I'm, it, it said the 20th, it said the 20th, it's fine. Yeah, it did say the 20th. <clears throat> Literal shit myself. Thank God I checked. Machine. Yeah, he is an absolute, absolute machine. Absolute legends. The man, the legends. Uh, so we've got a little bit of meat. A little bit of bread. Oh, what have we got bread? Mm, not entirely sure. Never mind. Uh, right. What we're going to do here is we're going to do some vegetables because it costs 15 each. And we've currently got 30. So that kind of makes sense to me because that's going to give us a little bit of extra food, which will make people happy. And the sooner people are happier, the sooner they will start coming to live in my godforsaken village. Talking of godforsaken, um, did I build the saw? I did build the sawmill. That's fine. That's ticking along. We're getting there. We've got 17 timber, which is actually pretty good. Uh, that's good. Okay, we're fine. We've got another, hopefully, we've got Ot, the ox. He's going to be dragging more wood, which is going to increase our building speed. A minor heart upsy, exactly. Exactly. Just a minor one. Oh, I also need uh, wood for fuel, which I always forget about. Uh, that one. Let's get a saw pit. If I get a saw pit and I put you, I don't want to put you down there, actually. Change your mind. I'm gonna put you here. Let's do that. And then ideally we probably want more houses. We're running out of fuel. Yes, that's why I built a fuel thing, wasn't it? And we got an upgrade. Now, uh, we don't have trapping or forest management, so neither of those are particularly useful. Heavy plow. Potentially. Sheep maybe. Maybe an apiary. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I might, you know what? I might just hold off for a minute. I might just hold off. Now, early game is actually quite difficult because you only have five families and there's a lot of stuff that you need to do to kind of get more people. So currently our approval is 45%, which is not good enough to get more people into our little our little village. So we're going to run out. So we've got three. So we've got 21 timbers. So that's actually fine. So what we can do is actually remove someone from there. Don't need that. We've got someone there. We actually don't have anyone there. So we'll do that. Get some get some herbs. Herbs and berries. Um, you should draw one single burgage plot. Bigger the more upgrades available. How do you do? Okay, so how do you just do one then? Hang on. Because if I do that, it does. So, how is there a way I can? I know there's a way you can like change the orientation, but I always forget what that is. Let's, hang on. Let's, you know what? Let's go into the settings and check the controls. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Quick burbage plot. Ooh. 
Oh. Interesting. Cycle between towns. Plus minus symbol. Okay. Hang on. So I do. Nothing to do anything. And oh, oh I see. Oh shit, son. Oh, game changer. Look at that. I mean that still only gives one of those things each. And I mean technically we could get five. Now technically you could get six here. But I think it's probably better to get the five. Is there a river? Um, no, the rivers don't exist. You have like underground river, underground water. There's the underground water. Why does it look like that? I don't know, but no, there's no. Um, Trago's baby. Ugh. Like Trago. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do is maybe. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick because I don't think, it, I don't think you need particularly big plots really. I don't think it increases. I don't think it gives you anything. I mean, I could be wrong, but I don't, like, I don't think it gives you anything to, because we get, we get six plots there, which just kind of makes more sense to me. <clears throat> Uh, because ours uh, is a river floodplain in German. I mean, we might be on a river floodplain, just not anywhere in the river. Maybe, maybe the rivers are just over here. You don't know. We could, we could, you know, could be. You need bigger plots for vegetables. But does it does it give you more vegetables? Like if you have a bigger plot, does it give you more vegetables? I've never seen it's like. I've never seen what's like. Oh, the pot's too small. They do. Oh shit, son. Well, I didn't know that. <laughs> it doesn't. Oh, this game doesn't tell you anything. <laughs> it doesn't. Are you sure? Are you a hundred percent? Are we actually a hundred percent sure on this? Like, are we... Is, is this actually a thing? Or is it just like that it feels like it should do that? And so... Because, I mean, it would make sense. But I'm still a little bit dubious. Just veggies. Are we Are we still... Are we 100% sure on the veggies, though? Are we like... Are we actually sure on the veggies? Just asking the real questions here. More potential veggies. Interesting. But just for veggies. I mean, I'm... I'm I don't know. I, I, I want to see data on this. It says so in the description for vegetables. Oh, I don't really want to go reading vegetables. Um, yields to plenty. Alright, fine. Fine. Okay, fine. <laughs> Fine, I'll take you. Okay, all right, all right. I, I concede that point. Fine. <laughs> Lovely little turnip in the country. All right, fair enough. I will grant you. I concede the points. Ah, oh, fuck. There's stone down here. I've forgotten about that. Oh, well, cast them. Um. But the family also needs time to manage it. Do they? Well, I guess that would. I mean. Debranching a tree, ploughing by hand, guiding an ox. I guess that would make sense. I just never really thought about it. I was like, ah, that's probably fine. All right, talking of people doing shit that they should be. Why is this? I need some. I need some firewood, guys. You're gonna starve through the winter. It's already June. Get your shit together. I did tell you to build houses, didn't I? And I also want. Also this one, then build the houses afterwards. 
Uh, that's another saw pit. That's not what I want. That's not what I wanted. I wanted a woodcutter's lodge. Admittedly, they look very similar. Do that one too. There we go. Sword. Um, so, is this a. It's, it's more of a city builder than an RTS. There we go. It definitely verges more on the. Um, the city builder than the RTS, I think. Okay, so good. To, so vegetables require more plot space. That's good to know. That is good to know. Okay, market variety of food is increasing. We have. We need someone working there to get the firewood. Otherwise, people will die of cold. And obviously, that's. You know, it's not Tory fucking Britain, is it? Hmm. I'm still not 100% sure how the the marketplace works, but it's fine. Do they have potato potatoes? It looks like they've got cabbages, and I'm assuming... What does that look like? It kind of looks like rhubarb. I do like a bit of rhubarb. I mean, it could maybe that is potatoes? What do potatoes look like? I mean, outside of the ground. I'm not I'm not really a garden person to be honest. Me after too many hours is banished. <laughs> it's it's like they set them up, which is great, but then in the, in a previous game I, I had like five stalls doing firewood and yet this house was like I don't know where to get firewood from. And you, you just have to, oh, you just you just worry sometimes. You worry about your little peons and what they're doing. Come on, Come on. Until the new oh yeah, I guess that's that's very true. We didn't have potatoes, did we? We had turnips. We were better for it. Don't need this new fangled potatoes. God, bloody bloody potatoes! Right, we got sixteen timber, so I can probably reduce that. And we need someone to do some planks because we need to build a church. That's that's my next priority. There were sweet potatoes in German. German, Germany. Well. Well, there we go. Genuinely didn't realise that. Uh, where's my church? Here's my church. Don't forget to check the level of the foundation. I will try and remember that. Right. So, we'll get some... So this is what you need your ox for. I don't have an ox. The saw pit takes ages to... To, up, to get some resource in it. There's no way to, like, change the level of requirement for resources. So, because there's building going on... Um, they won't stock the sawmill. Which is it's kind of a... It's, it's not really a problem. It's just kind of annoying. <clears throat> it could be potato, swedes, lettuce. It looks... I mean, I'm going to be honest. It looks like rhubarb to me. I love a bit of rhubarb. Apparently, rhubarb, they, can, they can make rhubarb grow so fast that you can hear it growing, which sounds very sinister to me. Um, so my wife was go. My wife texted me earlier and said, "One of my friends has said they've got a theatre ticket free. Do you mind if I go?" I'm like, no, of course not. It's fine. I'll look after the kid. It's fine. Um, so she was getting ready to go. She just put you know makeup on, done her hair, looked lovely. So I said, "Oh, you look really nice. What are you going to see, by the way?" And she said, "Oh, I'm going to see Pretty Woman." And I went, "Oh, that works because you are a pretty woman." Now I, people are a bit more quicker on that. Up uptake will we'll realize where I went wrong with because this is this was me trying to turn on the charm right but a few people are gonna go I can see where you went wrong there because she immediately turned around and went yeah but I'm not a prostitute am I <laughs> I was really trying <laughs> I was trying to turn on the charm I was doing the best I could, damn it. 
Of course, what I should have said to that was, well, no wonder you cost me so much, but still, <laughs> so dinner is on you tonight then. I mean, admittedly, I, I do do most of the cooking. <laughs> oh, I tried so hard. <laughs> So there we go. <laughs> right, people. Ah, oh, there we go. We get. We, people are forgetting about the homelessness whole thing that happens, and we'll, only, we'll get some people moving in, uh, especially if we can get some planks of wood. Let's go. I got. I got so far. Yeah, I was really trying. <laughs> you should add a few points to charisma just to get out the negatives. Ah. <laughs> uh. I mean, it's, not, it's not the worst thing I've ever said, so I think I've got away with that quite lightly. <laughs> uh, the thought was there, just not that much thought, unfortunately. Right, we got five. As soon as we get 20 planks, I'll probably just stop soaring. There we go. So, stop soaring. Don't need any more. We have enough for the church. Lovely little bit of religion going on. Um, oh yeah, we got some, got some. Okay, so we can build, we can build some spear boys. There we go, lovely. Got some spear boys. Um, right, we just need, we just basically need to get people to move in. Once we've got people moving in, then we can start getting our farms on the go, and everything will be fine. But yeah, we are kind of waiting for. There we go, it's found fifty-one. So hopefully. We should have people moving in, especially when they get when they see the church. Oh, they love a good love a good church. It'll be fine. It will be fine. Um, I, take, I, I wish that you got a little bit of regional wealth just from the get go, because it does feel like you're a little bit stuck until you start getting some regional wealth and. I mean, we do. We got breads. We got berries. We did. We did kind of strike out with the food in this region. The rich stone deposit isn't really that useful, but I guess it's. I guess it's nice to have just in just in case we need more stone. So, did the battles happen in real time? On that, um, so they happen in real time, and it's kind of a bit total war. Basically, you your guys here. So we've got a spear militia, 10 of 36 currently, because we've only got 10 uh, spears and 10 shields. And the 10 guys are guys that are currently working. So if you muster them, then they're not currently doing their jobs. And uh, they will, like, actually, like an RTS, they're basically, it's kind of like Age of Wonders in some respects. It's kind of like a more complex Age of Wonders building. Um, so they will appear in, like, a regimental formation, and you can, like, you know, move them around, drag them, and all that kind of stuff. Um... If they're they're running around, they'll get tired and be less combat effective. If you attack units in the rear, if you, um, they they panic and they lose combat effectiveness. It's not quite total war level, but it's still pretty good. So yeah, it's pretty it's pretty good. I'm sure we'll I'm sure we'll see some. Ah, oh, there we go. We got a new family moving in. Fantastic. That's what we needed. Uh, I'll tell you what I do need actually is uh, a forester's hut probably around here somewhere. So pop that down there. Uh, what do I want to do now? So we've got people moving in, which is great. I probably want to build some more houses just to be on the safe side. We've only got four timber. Um, so I probably need to put someone else in there as well. Uh, it gives us two builders, which is fine because we've got the church. I'm not super invested in building at the moment. We don't need anyone at the saw pit. Um, having more than one person on the hunting camp and the berries doesn't make any difference because there's there's so few of them there we don't really need to worry about that um, but i do want some more wood and those bastards keep still one of the things i don't like is that the bandits just will steal shit every so often um, which is really quite irritating fortunately our food is looking pretty good um so we'll put someone in the forest out that leaves us with one person doing some building which is fine and we will go with uh da -ba -da -ba -da. some more owls is How much is this going to cost? How many more do I have? 26. Yeah, I don't have 26. 12. I don't even have 12. I've got 8. 
And we've got we got enough space and they like the church. They like the food. And they've all got homes now. So it's all it's all coming together. Focus is still on city building. It's pretty good. I mean it's um it's still in early access at the moment. It's not yet released. Um it's still in early access and it will be in early access at release, I think. So there's still stuff and I will say that it is often I often I think the par thing isn't amazing. Because there's often times where, you know, you'll have a big market here with a whole bunch of stuff and there'll be a house up here complaining that they can't, you know, find firewood. Even though you've got loads of firewood available and they can't for some reason find it, despite the fact it's literally just down the end of the street. Um, so there is that. But um, I think that's, you know, for, for an early access title, I think it's very, very good. I think they're doing a lot of good. A lot of, a lot of things correct. A lot of right things. Um, so, how much would we got? 13, which is fine. So I'm going to do something like this. That works for me. <laughs> you always get those people. This is true. You do always get those people. This, this is a fair point, but still, it's quite annoying. <laughs> It's literally just down the end of the road. That's fine. We've got two people currently doing building. Uh, we've got enough timber ticking along. Food is fine. I just want to get some farms going, really. I'm not sure when I want to put my farms... Maybe down here somewhere. Our oh, fertility is very good across the board, so I don't really have to worry too much about where we put it. But obviously, the more houses we have, the better. Five, so we've got seven people. I, I would like it if it showed me how many, because I can count how many houses we've got compared to how many um, workers. You can see now we've got over about 50%. People are starting to move in. And the higher that is, the better, because obviously people are moving faster. And the more people we have, the more people we can put doing shit. Like, you know, logging. Or cutting woods. For firewoods. Which is always something I kind of... Oh, we got, we got fuel for six for six months. We're fine. Did we not... Woodcutters Lodge. Did we not have... Well, I guess... I, mean, I, don't, I don't know who transport shit. You you stop it. So we got we got forty six firewood here, but I don't know who's transporting it. Oh, Christina is. I'm guessing. Where is Christina? There you are. Okay, so you you're selling. So you've got 12, 12 firewood on your firewood stall, which is fine. But we still got forty five wood there. What does that mean? What does that mean? Not sure. Probably not. Not super important. Uh, let's see if it's higher since Bouquet's house. It's poor Richard driving the cart. The ox. Do be careful of the tree, Richard. Okay, we've got plenty of timber. Again, wild animals isn't necessarily a huge. Uh, yeah, there's no berries either because we're winter, but we've got enough food for six months, so we're fine. We're not too worried about that. In fact, probably the more houses I can build now, the better. Is that 18? It's probably. Might build like. half the way? So we could do that. Let's do something like that. So we've got a nice market in the in the centre there. We've got the church nearby, houses nearby, so they should all have access to the markets. I'm not quite sure. I get. I don't know if it's worth having like a smaller market. There's no way you can say what you want at the market. I mean, it's fine. And um, what do we need to upgrade? 
what do I need to do? I need a clothing stall supply, which I can do here because we've got that. So if I go with a tannery, we slap that there. That might give us enough. Um, clothes to satisfy that need. Give them some leather so they can make some arseless chaps or whatever they like. You know, up to them. I don't mind. Genuinely not bothered what they want to do. Uh, but we've got plenty of people now working, which is great. Don't need anything there. Uh, we, yeah, I'm probably going to, like, let's make really want to build that tannery because then we can get some clothes going on or at least some leather and that should then fulfill all their requirements and then we can upgrade it's weird that both the church and water access are like very like it doesn't really matter as long as you've got like a church or a well somewhere they, don't, they do not give a shit but heaven forbid you put the wood anywhere vaguely inconvenient for them because they will just not bother with it Wood seems to be a big problem for me. Um, that's fine, though. Uh, what I'll do is probably put the field down here. I think. Maybe. Um, Arthur's Chaps is a cornerstone of my wardrobe. Well, it's uh, it's a fashion... It's a, well, it's a fashion choice. If you can pull it off, then good on you. Frankly, I don't think I've got the badonkadonk to, to pull it off, but... That's just me. For fuck's sake, stop stealing my shit, you bastards. Really irking. Right. So we've got some more of those. So we now have 24 houses and only 10 people, uh, 10 families running around. So that's fine. So we're all good. Uh, we also have the forester's hut. They are replanting trees, which then get cut down by the logging camp, which is also fine. A bandit camp was sighted. Where? Right, well, that's literally the other side of the map for me, so I don't feel like I've got to... I don't feel like I'm going to have to panic immediately. I feel like I'm okay. Uh, greatest building system, an MA... Alongside many other English streamers, just build a city like an Excel table. It's just, it's more convenient. I do like to make, like, wiggly... I will I will make wibbly wobbly, but I'm, I'm more concerned about, like, the fucking houses over here not being able to... Look. Fuel supply, no. Food, no. Clo no, no, no one has clothes, but like they're just, it's done. Fucking, there's berries down here, guys. Oh, what the fuck? What is your problem? Look, Vivet is go. Look, they're all waiting. Look, what's this? He could be going down the market to get some fucking berries. What's he doing? He's sticking about in his garden. The twat. Look at him. Look at him in his stu stupid fucking haircut. Thomas, what are you doing? Praying. I think God's going to deliver some fucking berries for you, knob. Twat. <laughs> Tit. All chaps are arseless. Fucking Thomas is. Oh, knob. <sighs> you know, I've made, I've made some nice... But what, and yet one of the things I do like is the fact that if you, if you do have a non-straight road, it will still, you know, make really nice looking houses, which is fucking awesome. Because one of the things I really hate about city skylines is the fact that unless it's an absolute grid system, good luck. It'll look awful. This ain't black and white, Thomas. Damn right. Fucking Thomas. Um, I'm a genius on his pogo stick. Fucking better rope he is. Okay, so if we've got... Is that finished? It is finished. Right, tannery. We'll put someone in there. And with any luck, I'm hoping we might have some, um, we, I don't, you know what, I don't think we've got any. Okay, good. Right, so we're going to have to get some, and what do you want? That raiders. All right, I'll track their movements. Okay, we've now got 20 guys, which is better than 10. So I don't necessarily have to worry about them. Um, oh yeah, so this is like another another ruler's army. So you can see that's that's basically what they do. They just like move around on the map, in formation, and uh, if they move, if they run around, they'll get tired. If they have, if you build, 
if you have helmets in your inventory, they can equip helmets and stuff. If you don't, they just don't bother equipping helmets. It's quite nice. It's quite a nice little system, though. God damn it, Hans. Why did you just phase through a wall? Are you the devil? Madam? Cugnut? Cugnut? Fucking... I want to be able to make little little bell sounds. Okay, I don't think we're going to be able to get clothing from the uh, hunting camp, mostly because there's nothing to hunt, and also I think the bandits stole all the fucking leather. So, let's not worry about that. Let's instead concern ourselves with... A, a farm so we are going to do of course I would put it in the one place we don't actually have any fucking fertility okay what about what I do over here okay let's do that one there and we're no, not a pasture a field I don't know how big a field has to be but Do something like that. There we go. So we're going to sort of build our town around here. Farm over here. Bob, Bob, job done. Especially in Cornwall, sometimes it's like a child scribbled the roads onto paper. It's, um, it's when the Emmets come follow the sat nav and end up in a in a road where it's effectively narrow enough. So if you're in your land Land Rover Discovery. You have to be seriously careful about what happens to your wing mirrors. Plus, it's like each side of the hedge is about eight foot, and there's grass down the middle of the road. And then you see a tractor coming the other way, and you shit yourself. Lots of fun to be had. Okay, so I think what we're going to do here is we're going to do wheat. We'll do a crop rotation. So I think if you do a crop rotation, uh, then we can do flax and then barley. And we'll probably do in like another one. Barley, wheat. No, actually, flax. Flax, wheat, barley. And we'll stack this with as many people as we can get away with. Maybe two at the moment, I think, is probably fine. But with any luck, as, as more people get in, we'll literally just, like, pile them in here uh, to, to do the farm. And... Chronography. Mm. Double click. Someone's going down. Oh, the, there's, a, there's a village near where I live where the road so you have to think of it like this so you have a, a road which then swings entirely to the left so it's basically a left turn but there's houses so the houses are right up onto the road so there's not enough space for two vehicles there's only enough space for one so what you have to do is you have to like as you come to this turn you have to basically like edge around the corner and kind of go is anything coming and if so you have to reverse that's what you have to do but you get double decker buses going through there or even larger vehicles and sometimes it can cause real problems because there is not very much room to get around that corner and some vehicles have to swing out very wide and some just can't make it and there is no space to turn around mm -mm -mm. do it do it uh, steal their camp. How do you steal a camp? So they... Oh, that's, that's brigands. Oh, they, oh, so they're attacking that? Are they, can you attack a camp? Genuine, I've, not, I've not attacked a camp. I've only defended myself. Uh, how many people we got? Oh, we could stick another one in there. Let's try and get it, get it done. Fallow fields! I don't know if... 
I don't know if leaving it fallow, and it, it, it seems like changing the crop does increase fertility. I don't know what leaving it fallow does. Uh, place in the UK, they all seem to be these spots where the buses don't belong, right? <laughs> uh, I work with a part-time bus driver, and all the buses have their own instructions about what rose turns they can actually make. While well, they're busy fighting and free loot. Oh, oh shit, son. So where is their camp? So their camp's over the... Is there anyone there? That... Oh, there's like a destroyed windmill. Uh, so what are they doing? Are they f oh, they're fighting, are they? So if we if we get over there, can we like steal their shit? Should we try that? Fucking worth a go, isn't it? Do I? Oh, I don't need to. I'm okay. Oh shit! I shouldn't have. Fine. Um, I won't worry about that at the moment. I've got my farm to be to be getting on with. Yes. Oh. Oh, all right then. All right. All right. Look at them get, they, all, they all like run out of their house because they, they store the weapons in their houses because you can actually see the armaments. Alright boys. Go on a little little shajon. Get the banding camp. Don't know what this is going to do. May as well go for it. Worst case everyone dies. That's worst case. Oh, you know, I wouldn't mind a plowing. Should we should we get the heavy plow? Fuck it, we'll do it. We'll do it. And um, we don't actually have any oxen we could assign to it at the moment. But it's an option. Yeah, I'll be okay, I promise. Let's, 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 let's. Let's, 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 let's. Don't think we're gonna reach it in time. Oh, unless they... Get it, lads. Let them go. Beep, beep. Meep, meep. Oh, look at these berries they've got. Oh, they're all tired now. They're pooped. God, you only had to, only had to run across the bloody map. What's, what's your problem? You big bastards. Um, oh, shit, we can upgrade. Probably. Upgrade? No, you can't upgrade. You can upgrade. What can you upgrade? You don't have any clothing. Oh, I'm guessing that there's there's very, very little clothing available. Maybe we can get some from here? So currently they're affecting this like 18%. New message! You find a stash of goods. You find a, a stash of goods. Could be sent, uh, send the resources to the nearest town. This belongs to my treasury now. Um, nearest town? Regional wealth gain, 180. Holy fuck! That's a lot of money. Alright, back you go boys. Good job. Nicely done. I'll tell you what. If we can... It's equal to four, four wood to four timber to upgrade. Jeez. Four. What's a lot of, what am I grading to? We got two oxen. I mean, that was uh, that was pretty legit. Now run. <laughs> now who's the bandit? I am the bandit now. Also, where's the... Oh, it's, it's fine. They're not going to turn up for a while. It's fine. We're alright. We're okay. I'm still... Holy shit. 360 regional wealth? What the fuck? That's amazing. It's fucking great. Love that. Like, we could get some... We can get some chicken coops. Or some goats. I want some chicken coops. Mind you, I mean, the, the vegetables are cheaper. Do you have 13 vegetables? Um, I'm kind of tempted to stick some more vegetables in. Just to keep... Just because our food levels are... I mean, they're not bad, but... It's not amazing. I need some more... I need some more people. Fire! Talking of more people, there's more people. 
Let's put in those, those logs there, which is pretty good. Uh, you didn't have to fight them. Your adversary did all the work, right? What a what an absolute guy. What a legend. All right, you guys, nicely done. Uh, you can now disband. Go back home. Stand down. It's Thomas in it, I bet he is. His stupid haircut. Where is Tom? Where is Tom? Thomas was... Peep. No. 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 Where's, where's, oh wait, there, there is. Is it Tommen? Oh, it's Thomas. Has Thomas moved? He's just tit. Maybe it was Tom and I just forgot his name because it was so stupid. Probably that. No biggie. Still, that was a nice boost. Like that a lot. I think that's the only house we can upgrade because we've literally got bugger all. Uh, what should we call it? However, what we could do is if we change these guys. So I, uh, the problem is, I think you need. Yeah, so you, you need a supply of linen, leather, or yarn. Because shoes don't apparently require anything to make. Shoes are like free. You can just make shoes out of nothing. Because shoes don't actually require a resource. They just churn out shoes. <laughs> don't know why, but there we go. So if you want to if you want to like um supply your people with um with shoes, clothes, or cloaks, because cloaks require leather, clothes require yarn and linen but shoes require absolutely nothing shoes are a freebie so there we go i'm gonna stick another person in there because this this is good this is what we want and we also want uh, a windmill which i'm going to stick like there and a communal oven which i'm gonna put there I'm going to build more farm, uh, more fields over sort of in this direction. That's the plan, anyway. That's what I'm thinking. Because we've currently got 24 houses, and we've only got uh, 12 people, so we've got we've got loads of houses. Another ruler's army. They, they just wander around attacking bandit camps, but that one's literally over the other side of the map, so I'm probably not going to wander over there to deal with that one. It seems, uh, it seems a bit far. Um... They're all barefoot or tying balls to their feet. Something like that. Magic shoes. <laughs> right? I did. I was trying to um, get someone to make cloaks, which I think you need. Uh, you need like yarn and something else. Is it dye? I think it's yarn and dye. And I just couldn't get the yarn. I had, I had sheep. I had wool, I had the tailors, they were making yarn, I had yarn in the marketplace, but this house did not have any fucking yarn, despite the fact it was right next to the marketplace. It just didn't, it had no yarn. And then eventually, after like two years of not having yarn, suddenly they had a yarn, and I could make a cloak. Um, but it did feel a bit like, come on guys, get your, get your shit together. Plastic sponge bag, they're wearing uh, Crocs, aren't they? That's what it is. Lovely crocs. Uh, tell you what I could actually do, is if I add a ploughing station. Um, I want to do... Can I upgrade this? Two planks of wood. Yeah. I could upgrade both of these. That will upgrade it to a stable, so I could get another ox. I could upgrade this, and then I could use the ox for... Uh, for doing farming shit. Which seems a sensible option. Okay, we do have a little extra wealth coming in. Not very much, but it's, it is trickling in. They don't have a tavern supply. They don't have any got a level one church. And no one else has any clothes. So that's slightly a problem. Oh, no, you do. You do. Hang on. I could upgrade you. Sorted. Okay, we've got a little bit more construction going on. Just, just need more, need more people. So we've got 23 timber. Got the, 
upgrading those to stables. That would give us more access to it. Right, livestock. No, advanced. There we go. Assign a livestock worker. Right, so they've put one there, which is fine. Uh, but that will reduce the number of... Uh, Let's upgrade that um because then we can we can get some more oxen in but it's good that we've got because i feel like two two i don't know how many f people we need working the fields to to do them properly this seems fine i mean what's it may and they're already sowing crop growth seven oh, that's fine i can live with that Yeah, so you're, you're doing stuff, which is good. Small stable, so we could get another ox there. And... Could we not get another ox there? Okay, cool. I'll just have to... I've got, I've got 20, haven't I? Yeah, I've got loads. I've got, I've got more wealth than I ever have before, to be honest, thanks to that camp raid. Good choice. Good suggestion, that's the one. Uh, he didn't get a helm. Would a hard hat count? Yeah, probably. Why do I have to carry this alone? It's a hurricane not power out for 10 days. What the shit? 10 days without power. At that point, I think I'd resort to cannibalism. You're very welcome. Well, thank you. It's an excellent, excellent suggestion. There's the windmill. Lovely. Oh, we can't upgrade you. Oh, I'll tell you what we do need is um, a weaver workshop, which I'm going to put over here. Because that'll come in. I don't know whether to put like a storage thing here. I'm not entirely sure. If you put people in the storehouse, I'm not entirely sure what that does. Come on, just got a buttload of firewood in there. Let me guess, you don't have firewood? Hang on. Yeah, so we've got we've got 21 fire. You can see that the houses at the end just... Nope. Everyone else is fine. Just for some reason, those guys don't... Don't understand how firewood works. Which is fine. Okay, we're getting, getting a little more access to... Upgrade them all to level two whenever we can. Uh, is there like a way? What does this does this show me what can be upgraded? I need to find one that could be upgraded that I haven't clicked on it. It's fine. Once we once we get the linen, we'll be fine. Because it's the the flax. We need flax. So that's come one, come all. Feast your fine. eyes on our fine selection. Well, that's how much it would give us now, I guess. Question mark. Can hold more than USA. Three wood stoves. Do you not have a wood stove? We do not have a wood stove. No, I have an oil fired boiler. Because we don't have gas here. My old house had gas, but where we are at the moment, no gas. So the house had a very old oil fired boiler, one that had. It came with a, a booklet that looked like it'd come from the 1960s. Um, so we've now got a nice external boiler. People in the store have to take care of supplies and markets, so the people in the workshop production can focus more on the work. Um, okay. So they can move stuff about, I guess? That would, that would be quite useful. But then we're not using much of the storage. Like, we just put, we got some firewood in there. I'm not sure how much that's going to help us. That's the only thing. I'm tempted to put like another field down. Like, they're not doing anything now, are they? 
Um, yeah. That way, that way, go there, 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 there. Uh, Let's do weights. Flex. Oh. There we go. There we go. That's good. Let me get some more wheat from that. Is it, uh, it says F only five? That can't be right. We're not going to get just five wheat from it, are we? The entire field, five whole wheat. <laughs> A fair Oh no, six. Maybe it's because it's not grown yet? Still, that seems wildly low. I'm sure it's fine. I'm not going to worry too much about it. Right, uh, we could get another ox, which we're going to do. I mean, we've got wealth at the moment. May as well splurge. Do I want to... Now, you know what I might do here is actually I might... Oh, I don't have enough thingy majigs. You know what I need? I know it's right, saw pit. Put someone in the saw pit. Put someone in the saw pit. That seems fine. I seem to be doing alright there. Look at that. I'm using a plow. It's fucking Tommen. Is it? Or is that the hawk? Is that the ox? Tommen's Tommen's the ox. Apparently. Right, well he seems to be having a great time there. We may not actually need all these people doing, or, but maybe when we get the harvest? Yields nine. I'm fairly sure it should be more than that. Barley's one. Um, makes production more efficient, but of course you need at least two families, one focused on storage and granary. Later on, more families needed. Uh, Pens were unhappy about 10% tax, whereas historically it was closer to 60 70%. So beginning, the option is between more efficient logistics or just more production. I guess so. Can we do anything here? What does this do? For, uh, all allows to use fallow fields of pasture, which rapidly restores lost fertility. Oh. Ooh, produces bread from flour. With twice the efficiency of the communal oven. Ooh. Oh, oh, so either fallow, rapidly restore lost fertility, or alternatively, a bakery extension, which is much more efficient. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I mean, the communal oven seems fine. We don't need it at the moment. Heat my house with used tire fires. It's, um, is that carbon neutral or how eco friendly is that? <laughs> Asking the real questions. Uh, don't be nope, not farmhouse. There's more houses. Uh, hang on. Hang on. I got it. Yep. 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 Nope. Nope. Yep. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, got 12. That's, that's looking slightly better. It's looking slightly better. It's getting there. High fertility, pretty good. Flex fertility is fine. I mean, it's, 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 it's fine. It's fine. Food variety is not great. Uh, trying to think, we could do some eggs here, can we? I think maybe like over here. Something like that. Get some chuk chucks. Okay. 
All right, let's take it up. Let's take it up. It's in August. It's all right. It's fine. Loads of time. Loads of time. I live in the mountains now. I don't care if the ice caps melt. Only rich people live in the water anyway. They can only afford to move. I mean, I do live quite near the sea, but I live, like, up on a hill, so I think it'll be all right. I could, I could get, hang on, I could get both of those slots. It's rye crops are filled. Similar to wheat, rye can produce some turn. It's more resilient, therefore we're growing in place with low fertility. I think it's actually pretty good. You know what, I'm going to get both of these. Fuck it. Fuck it, see if I care. And then I'm going to get rid of the communal oven, knock that down, get the fuck out of my life. And I'm going to pick one of you. Doesn't matter which one. Uh, you. I need top grade. I also need some pints. Got six pints. That's loads. All right. I'll tell you what. You are getting upgraded to be a bakery extension. Boom. So we got someone working this once once the wheat's all done. Yeah. I mean. I feel like if if my house gets swallowed by the sea, I feel like humanity's probably got bigger problems. So I think I'd be all right. I don't live like right down on the seafront. I'm kind of scared. Me. Like, there's some of the houses in my village are like right on the seafront, and it would kind because of, I've I heard there was a storm. God, I want to say about seven years ago. Which was really bad, and um, there was a, it's a, com a, com a communal building on the seafront, which was started to get undermined. Like the sea just like slammed into it, eroded the um, the sea defences, and then had basically like torn out the bottom court. And everyone was worried that this building was going to collapse, and it didn't. But there's we had some friends who owned one of the houses which is basically like the house is is on the sea f so at high tide the the front of their house is effectively like against the sea and apparently like one of those one of the big way a freak wave basically like smashed through the window of their kitchen basically just like swamped everything flooded out everything and their dog was in a cage in the kitchen and it basically almost drowned because the water was taking so long to drain away that the poor dog just couldn't get out of the cage. They had to like as soon as they realised what happened they, they like rushed downstairs and managed to like wade through and get the dog out of the cage. That dog was fucking traumatised, understandably. And I was like, I just, I just want I, it must be nice to be able to like in the summer hear the sea lapping against the but then as soon as there's a nasty storm nope, fuck that! Poor doggo, the sea is scary when in full force, right? Just like, Jesus. I can't imagine like hearing a smash and knowing that your your kitchen is now basically underwater. As is your dog, apparently. Uh, where is the... Oh, there's the road. I'm going to make a nice wobbly road just to prove people that I'm not making a grid system because I don't like grid systems. Maybe efficient, but they're so boring. 26 yield. Uh, lovely down by the river, but the thing flood, you can swans in the living room. Yeah. Um, when I was taking my, my car to the garage, you have to walk through a graveyard. And there's some houses where they're kind of like new buildy houses and you've got as you as you walk along the graveyard you've kind of got like a river but the river's in their back garden so you kind of have like this this river which is you know it must be nice to hear the nice river running running past but then you've basically got like not much ground and then you've got your effectively your the bottom of your garden it's not a very big garden either um and then a patio and then your like patio doors I just, I would just always be worried. All it's going to take is like one heavy downpour, and uh, your house is underwater. 
Uh, no, no thank you. Nice to live up on a hill. I mean, it's a bugger when you want to get walk up from the beach, but it's not that bad. How are we doing? Food for five months, fuel for five months, not too bad. 30 wheat. Sandbags are a must. Yeah, right? So I've always... At one point we were looking at a house which um, was down by a lake. But it was... It's in one of those areas where whenever there's heavy rain, you can... I don't know if they do this in other countries, but you can, you can kind of get a map which just shows, like, this is the potentially flooded area. And the problem with that house and that town that we were looking at was that it's basically quite a large section of it. It's basically like, yeah, all of these places basically fucked. So good luck. What's your favourite place to visit in England? I used to love going to Bath. Bath is very pretty. But I'm going to be honest, I love Cornwall and I would never leave. I don't even like going across the Tamar Bridge. I'll just happily stay where I am. Don't want to leave. Yeah, my old place was like that. Yeah, this, this, the town we were, um, we were looking at is, um, it's got, it's basically like an estuary. It's like right down by the sea, but it's kind of separated by a lake. So you've got a lake and then the sea, and there's supposed to be like a sea gate, basically. Um, and it has flooded before quite badly. So I was always, it was always back in the back of my head, like the house was lovely. Uh, the house we're in now is is fine. It just it's it's an location we wanted, but it's not the house we wanted. But it's fine because we can we can update it. But it, it's going to take some work, but it's fine. It's getting there. He's getting there. We're very we're very very fortunate to live where we do. It's just uh, we used to live in like a new build house, which was actually very well built for a new build house, <clears throat> and it was uh, you know you had a like a brand new kitchen and all that kind of stuff in this house the kitchen well for one has a carpet in it which is mostly brown i'm not entirely sure what color it used to be but it's now very brown um that i absolutely hate and desperately want to just rip it out um and all of the cupboards sort of when when my parents first moved to cornwall when i was about 10 i think they had the house they moved into had the same cupboards so it needs needs a bit of work. Yeah, carpet in kitchen, not bathroom too. There was there was carpet in the bathroom, yes. In fact, we've even got carpets in our outdoor shed. So that's, uh, that's how we roll here. Can't see me leaving here. Don't fancy a city and love having woods and beaches and rivers. Yeah, right. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's horrific. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Right? Who the fuck puts carpet in the fucking shed? What unhinged sociopath <laughs> decides that they need fucking carpet in the shed? <sighs> but there we go. There we go. It's just, it's just how we roll. Uh, we have Pepto Bismol coloured carpets in the whole house. It grossed me out. Ugh. Ugh. That's not very nice. No. So we've 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 redone. Big oh, did it. Does anyone remember having those, like, plastic moulded, um, bath, like, side bath shelves? Like, you had, like, a, a long mirror in the middle, a shelf with a long mirror, and then you had two sort of, like, sort of, like, hollow bits where you could put, like, soap and stuff? There was one of those in the bathroom when we moved in. Um, I'm glad to say that we've, we've we've had a new bathroom, and in fact, I'm hoping Monday that we're getting some some new radiators fitted. That's a step one of my redo the kitchen plan. Much retro. Oh, I, I genuinely don't think this house had been updated since about 1980. I don't think they've done anything to the house to update it. It it just it needs work. It really does. At some point, I really need to look at the um, the gutters and get them cleaned out because I'm fairly sure we've got some very potent vegetation growing from the gutters. 
So that probably needs to be sorted. But uh, that's that's at the moment that's very far down the list of things that need to be done. That will help with your old bones. Tell me about it. Uh, but we've got we've got a nice new bathroom with a new new electric shower, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, so that's all good, all sorted. Let's get in there. Just need to um, get the get the kitchen done. So getting the radiators done is step one. Then I want to try and get because currently we've got like um, our house is is dual aspect. So like if you go into the kitchen, you can see about out the front and the back, which is fine. And we've also got like two chimneys, one at either end of the house, and the one in the kitchen is basically useless. It doesn't do anything. It used to be where the boiler was, but it doesn't, it doesn't do that anymore. So I want to get rid of that chimney because it takes up a huge amount of space in the kitchen. And then my my office here is actually it's not part of the house. It's kind of built onto the side of it, and um, there's like a toilet next door. Which is not very nice. I basically just use it as storage. So what I want to do is like break through from the kitchen into that room, and then get rid of the chimney, have more space, have a nice new kitchen, job done. And then, you know, we can. The rest of the house isn't isn't too bad. It's mostly just tackling the um, the bathroom and the kitchen, the main ones. So we get those done. Then I think I think we're almost there. Uh, flashback to you rent to sell your house. Ah, oh, it's a fucking nightmare that was. I swear, the number of pictures because our old house had um, had three flights of stairs because it was it was split level. So you had the bottom floor, then you went up some as up like half a level to the lounge. Then you went up another half a level to the bathroom and first bedroom. Then you went up another level to our to like the master bedroom, ensuite, and little office room. The number of old people we had come and see our house and go. Oh, there's a lot of stairs, isn't there? Well, yes, yes, there is. Like it, it's mentioned on the webs on on the website, on the documents. For literally, the brochure has all the fucking. It's not. We're not trying to hide it from you. You can see all the fucking stairs. I don't know why you're coming to the house going. Oh, there's a lot of stairs, isn't there? Yes, yes, there is a lot of fucking stairs. What the fuck? What the, what the fuck were you thinking? You're just turning up blind to see a house. Are you insane? Fucking fucking old people. Website, that's your problem. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh. Exhausting. But, but we managed to sell the house eventually, and then, you know, we got a house in exactly where we wanted, and we didn't think we'd ever get it, and we did. So, I mean, you know, it's... It's pretty good. Is it? Because this is the... Oh, there you go. You are transporting. Okay, good. And now are you making bread? Oh, you are making bread. Oh, fantastic. Cool. Okay, you're making bread. That's good. We've got eggs. We've got bread. We've got berries. That's, uh... Oh, that's a, lo that's a lovely bit of French toast, that is. <sighs> lovely. Pension is just say the most obvious shit. I think it's just to break silence. Oh, the fact is, I need to, like, I need to evacuate the house to let them do this fucking viewing. So I'd go and sit in my car and I'd see this old old people turn up and I'd just think, oh for fuck's sake, I'm gonna be sat here for the next 20 minutes while they slowly wander around my tiny house to then decide that there's too many stairs. Just like, oh. Oh, I swear, selling houses is the most stressful thing. 28, 15, 16, 17. Oh, I could I could make some more houses. I could make some more houses. Um yeah. I don't know. Yeah, let's do something like that. Oh, we don't have to work in the weaver shop. Okay, so we've got 25 flax. They've got 14 there. I'm hoping 
is. This is the bakery. Are they, are they actually actually making bread? Wait, where are you? Where are you going? What are you doing? Nothing? Alright, cool. Okay, we've still got raiders near. Okay, what, what do I want to do here? So... I mean, fuck, ideally get more people. That's what I need. I need more warm bodies. So, let's think about this. I would... I want a mining pit. So let's put one on. Admittedly, it's not a, it's not a great... It's not a great lot of, of mining, but that's fine. Uh, I probably want one there as well. Let's put that there. I mean, you make, you make, I don't know if you're, are you tra oh, you're transporting. Maybe if I put more people here, they'll transport more? I don't know. Okay, you're now making, all right, good. So you're making linen, which means we should have more houses. Oh, for fuck's sake, stop stealing my carrots, you bastards. I swear to God, leave my goddamn carrots alone. Get your filthy bandit hands with my goddamn carrots. Um, they will open the door, be met with the steepest of stairs, and just turn around. <laughs> oh, God. No bow retinue options, some elite archer spam. Finally, at mine. Now the kids have something to do. Well, as soon as we get some lovely chimneys, they can go and climb up them and clean them, can't they? Sorties. I, be I just need more people, to be honest, at this point. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reduce that. I think we're good. Build some more houses. Eggs, vegetable, berries. Okay, food's not too bad. I'm assuming this is fine. I'm making breads. I got flour. I don't know whether to put me. I mean, like it says, it says transporting. What are they transporting? What do you... Oh, raiders are near. That's fine. We're all right. We're all right. We got, we got enough guys to see them off. Okay, this is looking slightly better. Um, I might... Oh, that's fine. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to put some more people in here and see what they do. Like, are they going to transport? These, it says everyone's transporting, but I'm not entirely sure what they're transporting. So you're going to you're going to the you're picking up flour and transporting it. You, where are you going? You're going home. I don't need to worry about you. You're transporting. You are transporting. What are you transporting? What are you doing? Probably fine. The bakery is making. Is it making bread? Well, there's a lot. There's quite a lot of bread there. I guess, I guess everyone's fine. All right, all right. No worries. Taking along. Uh, but mines builds character, just like how my kids scavenge rare metals in modern day. Scavenge? Do they? I mean, they beg for money, is that it? Alright, does anyone know what Rainbow Friends is? My four-year-old is super into Rainbow Friends for some reason. I have no fucking clue what it is. I think it's like a Five Nights at Freddy's thing, and I think he's picked it up from school. I genuinely... I never thought I... I, I thought I was down with the kids. I thought I would be... A, you know, when my child said something weird, I'd be, oh yeah, I know exactly what that is. And I genuinely have no idea what Rainbow Friends is, and I'm scared to ask. Oh, there we go. Look at that. 15 leather. Lo We've got loads. Right, so... Does this... What tells me... Okay, so that was... Right, so that's an upgradable one. 
Okay, so it's got a little upgrade icon. That's what it does. That's how I know. That's useful. I had that so much. Hello, fellow kids. <laughs> I was sure I was going to be one of those cool dads who's just like, yeah, I have heard about that. Pick up all sorts. Right? I just, oh, I don't know what that is. He, um, we went, we went to some toy shop and he, of all, the, of all the toys he wanted, he picked this like little pack because it was Rainbow Friends. I don't think it was, but fine, whatever. He got this weird little red monster thing. And then the following day before school he was like oh where's where's my red rainbow friend i was like i don't know where it is I don't, where did you leave it like, I, I don't i don't i don't keep i can't keep track of this shit so i text my wife saying have you seen this thing she went oh i think it was in my pocket oh the child was inconsolable he was such a stroppy shit that entire morning i walked him up to school and <laughs> the teachers are at the school gates like saying good morning as i came in and like my child just like walks in like just a strop and he just and the teacher went looked at me and went is he okay and I went I'm gonna go home I'm gonna take the deep breath and I'm gonna scream into a pillow for twenty minutes and he went understood yeah that's fine and I did I, I was I stayed very calm the entire time he was being a stroppy little shit I was very I was I didn't shout at him I was very calm I was, you know, I told him I understood how he felt. But then I went home and I screamed into a pillow. <laughs> just, just the most infuriating. This, oh, this thing was like three quid. It doesn't do anything. It's just, oh, it's so shit. I don't know why you want it. It's like a web game. That's what I thought. I don't think it looks like a good web game. I don't think it looks like something he should be, he should have knowledge of. That's my concern. He just knows what it is, and that makes me worry. <laughs> oh shit, I've been turning I've been turning all the wood into fucking... No, stop. Stop making planks. I've got so many planks. I don't need planks anymore. I need planks. Uh, you are fine. We've got loads of wood. We got loads of firewoods, in theory, apart from this end house here, who apparently does not have fucking why. Guiding an ox, fetching water. I mean, come on, guys. For fuck's sake. Oh, dear. Okay, fertility, 37, 56, 41. I mean, that seems fine. It's actually good unless... Unless to watch everything. Yeah, and I can't be bothered to do that. He, he oscillates so much. We went to some... Di is that, was it Dinomania? Where they have, like, people dressed up in dinosaur suits. Anyway, he's now super into dinosaurs. In between also being super into Star Wars. He saw an advert for the new Star Wars game. Um, oh fuck, what's it called? Anyway, that doesn't come out until like August the 30th. Why are, they, why are they fucking showing adverts for it? It doesn't come out for another, what, like three months? Anyway, <laughs> he was like, can you play that? Like, uh, well, no, not yet. But I, sh I showed him some other Star Wars games. The problem is, like, he was super into Ghostbusters for about 20 minutes. So I bought the game, and he enjoyed it for about 15 minutes. And then he wandered off and uh, decided to pretend to be a banana. Which is fine, but it does make me, you know, query... Question. question. It does make me question whether I should actually, like, buy, buy games that he wants to watch, considering he will only watch them for about 10 minutes. Disney needs all the Star Wars money. Yeah, I actually met Darth Vader at uh, Disneyland, which is nice. And uh, uh, my child built himself a lightsaber, which is pretty neat. I wanted to 
build myself a lightsaber, but I waited until the last day we were there and they'd run out of parts. So, fuck my life, I guess. So he's got a lightsaber and I don't. Which is bullshit. <laughs> Absolute bullshit. Never mind. I'll tell you what I might do. Let's put a cobbler's workshop there. And then we can just produce boots from, from nothing. I've only picked the cheap ones. Um, th this was like the, the cheapy ones. So this was like the plasticky ones. I know you can... At, um, at the one in LA... Is it the one in LA? You can... Like, they, they have like really nice parts. Don't you? you pay hundreds of quid for this. This was like 30 quid and you get like plasticky bits. But you can build them out of different... What colour did he pick? Um, there was only green. He really wanted red, but they only had green, so he went with green. But yeah, it's got like, you can, like, you know, it does like the extended thing, so you can flick it out, which is quite nice. And also when you move it, it makes the lightsaber light. Remember Friends is a horror game? Yeah, I, I suspected it might. I, I thought it was like a Five Night at Freddy's thing, which is why he definitely shouldn't be watching this shit. I don't know who picked it up from. I'm, I'm sure he picked it up from school. I swear he picked it up because the school's not very big and they like merge the years and they, like all the kids know each other. So when he's walking through the village, he'll he'll say to like a, a kid that's in like year six, hi Logan, because they just all know each other. So I guess they all play t together and I guess the older kids have, you know. So I am your lightsaber. Bandit camp sighted. Uh, oh yeah, when's the bandits turning up? Prepare for attack. Oh god, I hope that's not me. They don't seem to be heading in my direction. Nah, they're going over there. It's fine. It's fine. It says raiders, raiders near. Oh, five, oh, five, five. Okay, um, so we, I'll, I'll muster the army, just in case. Linen. Linen. Just on the off chance. My friend is also the Ludo Sports UK and World Champion. Oh. Kids love Five Night Freddy's. My early jokes aside, they turn out to be fine so far. I'm about to take them to the park for a little bit. Yeah, I don't think it's like a major... I, I guess, you know, everyone likes being scared, right? Uh, that's why people watch horror films. Is it fine? Four? Yes. Yes, okay, so raiders are going to turn up momentarily to... One. Enemy unit spotted, which is... Where were they spotted? Over there. Are you shitting me? That's fucking miles away. Yep. Yep, that's fucking... That's, the, that's like the other side of the world. There they are. Okay, that's fine. Have you built the... Okay, you have built the mining pit. Good. So we'll build that. And I then need... Ah, uh, the bloomery. So I'll stick that there. Right. So you're coming from this direction. So I will... Move our boys up and await their friendly embrace. Do so you have like effectiveness? And that will reduce, like, if you attack a unit in the rear, then that will reduce their effectiveness quite severely. There are rivers. I genuinely didn't think there were rivers, but there are rivers. Look at that. I stand corrected. 
Oh, I think they're going to attack someone else and then die. Okay, well, there we go. That was a uh, good job, everyone. Nicely done. Weren't needed in the end, but, you know, good, good, what's the words? Um, training run. There we go. You need to gra I, I don't know how to grab, like, another region. There's an iron rich, I, I do want to get an iron, like, there's an iron rich one over there with berries as well. Um, so I would like to go, I'm not entirely sure how to, like, grab another region, though. Have Total War connect to Manor Lords for a mini city builder, then back to Total War for big field battles. Oh god, that game would take ages to play, though. Like, legitimately a million years. Right. Ooh, uh, 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 no, where that? Right, good. Where is the, the storehouse is there? What I might do is... You. Can build one of them. Are you making shoes? You're a cobbler. Yeah, you are a cobbler. You don't, you don't require anything? Are you sure you don't require anything? You? Doesn't actually s what I wish is it showed you what they were, like, what they were needing. And we do have, like, 34 bread here, which is fine. We've got, in fact, we've got so much food, we don't need any more food. Food is good. And the weaver workshop is fine, so that's good. Uh, we've got the bloomery, we'll put someone in there. To be honest, the mining pit is fine. Uh, your rubber can claim it, then you can cont Or you can build up your influence by fighting bandits and claim it yourself. Oh, okay, so that's... Fine. Okay, I and mean, we can always trade for stuff, can't we? Uh, so we'll do that one. You, how many guys have we got? Loads, right? We can be a joiner's workshop. So basically, got a bakery to make breads. Got a blacksmith, which we're going to use to make spears. So we can produce spears for you. We've got planks, that's fine. And then what we can do is we can use this to build shields. It's all good. I could put someone else in there, but I don't feel like I need to. You seem fine. Uh, we've got... It says six months of food, and yet we have loads of food. We don't have any meat. Mm, I'll cover that. I've got loads of flax. Bit of wheat coming in there as well. Um, it's probably fine. General, right, we make those shields. Thank you very much. We need. Nope. Need one person doing that. Probably two people doing that. I'm tempted to say maybe like another another forester there. That seems fine. Taking along. Right, so hopefully what we can do is we can make more spears and shields and that will fill out our spear militia. So that'll be fine. Tempted. I mean, food wise, we're actually. I mean, I guess maybe we could use some more vegetables, but like some minor. A minor concern. Do it anyway. Uh, so what we do need is a thingy majig tavern. Uh, 
I should put a tavern somewhere central, like here? Yeah, that'll do. Let's get the tavern going. How many families we got? So we got 28, 35 houses. Mind you, we could always increase the living space here to give ourselves more space. If we had any more timber, which we don't. Debranching a tree. Peddling. We could do a permanent livestock assignment, but I don't think we need to. Gotta go play with the kids. See you later, Stefan. Stephen, even. Stefan? Stephen? Uh, has there been any combat yet? Uh, no, I went and grabbed a... I went and grabbed a bandit camp, but apart from that, I'm now just... I'm kind of like building up my army. Um, in fact, what I should do is get a mana. I don't really understand... Oh, I need to get a thingy jig. Not enough... Oh. Oh, I do have enough now. I do have enough. Right, I'll pop you there. See, so yeah, I sort of build along here a little bit. How much stone? 660. What I don't know is it looks like there's stone blocks. can't see any way. There's, there's stone blocks as a resource, but I can't see any way of making it. Hides, barley to produce malt, clay tiles, in there. So stone from, f from field stone deposits, but I can't see any way to create blocks. And I don't know if I'm missing something or whether it's a tech or something. Food cart. Am I just, am I just insane? Oh. I don't know what you. Well, I don't know even what you use stone blocks for, to be honest. Uh, but I probably do need to trade, don't I? Trading. Should I get a trading post? That makes sense when. Oh, again, we don't have enough. Don't have enough bloody wood. Oh God. Damn. Guys. Okay, that's something we do. I need more. Need more timber. That's hopefully, if we have a look here. Yep, we've got 23. So we've got 23 spears, 24 shields. So making some stuff. That's what we want. Probably because I blew it all on increasing living space. Like a fool. Okay, I can make. Put the trading post there. There we go. There we go. Right. I could I could potentially put in like a feet. Oh, you know what? I, want, I could have put could put a pasture down. Where would I put a pasture down? Hmm. Stick one here. If I something like that, something like that, right? So I get a sheep farm. And I'm thinking like stick it somewhere like here. Get a little pasture. Tempted to get like another little little field. Let's do wheat. Fallow. Wheat. 
There we go. Something like that. Then we can we can use the trading post. And oh, no, we need a livestock trading post, don't we? Okay, we get a livestock trading post to get some sheepies. And then we can use that for linen. Should be quite nice. Oh, that's a really, that's a really fucking wonky. Uh, right, hang on. Here we go. Hang on. Change your mind. Change your mind. You go there. Oh, I need 14 wood for that. We've only got two. Because I'm blowing all my planks. Blowing all my wood on planks. But we've almost got a full spear militia. Policy. Conquering bandit camps, upgrading your churches and manors. That's how you get influence. But currently I've got zero influence. Is that because I don't have a, a thing? A thingy majig. Uh, a mana. Do I have to get a mana before I can get influence? Genuinely not sure. I'm going to put my, my mana here. It's a good spot for a mana, I think. Storehouse. Storehouse doesn't actually have any any iron. Uh, clothing. So we don't have a tavern. Church is too small. Are you, are you actually making shoes? It doesn't say you need anything. You need to be refueled, apparently. He's sick. Huh. Interesting. Okay, what do we 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 have? So we've got loads of linen and leather. So I'm sure I can do something with that. Let's just do something like this. <clears throat> Yeah, we got. Okay, so I'm. I'm guessing my my problem at the moment is. Oh my god, I have blown through all of my planks. Holy shit! Holy shit, nuts! Still, I'm. I feel like I'm doing better than last time. Uh, 25. So we've still got 37. So we've got sort of loads. Loads. Well, I could upgrade these, but. Where are me? Where are me? Oh, oh, my boxes are probably taking stuff down there, aren't they? There's one there. So they're building that. Got fuel for four months. That's fine. There we go. The trading. Okay, the livestock trading post is now being constructed. Right. So I'm going to go and trade. I am going to get sheeples. We'll import sheeples until we have like six. Does need to be constructed. I thought there was something running across the field for a second, but no, it's just like it's burbs. It's just burbs. Just a bunch of burbs. Right. So we can get. Oh, I need to have, probably have someone working on it, don't I? Right, trading post. Once that's finished. Well, once that's finished, once the sheep farm is finished. There's some working in there. And then I can... Okay, so you can... T so, the Weaver Workshop can, can do multiple things. Let me put another person in there, actually. I don't know if I need to. But if we have if we have wool coming in, then the linen will, will be useful. Do you do you still have no 
You still have no fuel. I don't know what it is. Like we've got we've got lots of firewood there, but for some reason some of these houses just just, 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 just can't can't access firewood for whatever reason. This is very strange. Um, let's do this. Um, sure. Get some stone. Still got four people building shits. Which is good. We have no more flour. Do we have. Well, we got 36 of 36, which is absolutely fine. So, what I'm going to change that, I'm going to make those thingy majigs. And I'm going to make those thingy majigs. And then eventually, what we can do is we can create a nice little uh, militia footman units. That's the plan, anyway. Do me a favour. Say sternly, Craig, you don't own the park. It's okay to go play with the other kids there. <laughs> it is. It is okay to play with the other kids there. Have fun. It's always nice to see your children playing in the park with others, as long as you're not close enough to hear actually hear what they're saying. It's probably for the best. Is that sheep literally taking itself to the pasture? It's a really well-trained sheep. Can go. I mean, he could be using the paths, but I guess I've got nothing to really complain about. Also, that. That looks very... Is that okay? That looks very dicey. Should it be like that? He's cackling laughing. <laughs> well, I'm gl glad he appreciated the stern talk. There we go. We've got some, got some sheeples. Sheeples, which we can use the weaver workshop to turn into yarn. So the windmill can rotate? Oh yeah, okay. I guess that does make sense. I guess. I guess. I guess. I guess. I guess. I guess, I guess that would make kind of sense. Seems absolutely mad. That seems madness to me, but I guess I've never actually gone and built a windmill, so what the fuck do I know? Twenty-nine four, we've got thirty, I've got loads. Got more building as well. Right. Do I have anything I want to trade? Not really. making shoes. Do you have any shoes here? Zero shoes. What the fuck are you doing then? What are you doing? You're a cobbler's. What are you cobbling? Hmm. Practical, not madness. I guess, I guess, I guess. How can I see what they're... Are they waiting for resources? I don't think they are. But I mean, the only thing we're missing is yarn. It's the only thing they might need. It doesn't say that you have How would I care? It says... Enables production of shoes. Does it s maybe they've changed it. Maybe it does need something. 
I mean, we should... Good. All right. Well, fine. Whatever. I'll worry about that in a second. It's not a. It's not an urgent, desperate, urgent problem. Okay. We've upgraded you and you and who else? We've upgraded you and you. There are there are some more resources here. I could potentially put some. There's only like nine bread there. Uh, only three berries. Hmm. Actually, got a lot of berries. What the fuck happened? What are you? Are you? Yeah, you are still doing. Something. I could get a herb garden. What are herbs for? Well, let me get some herbs. Four of 19 sheeples, which is fine. I don't ever want to, I, like, do I need to trade anything? I could trade stone, but the export price is, is next to nothing. No, oh, that's particularly good. Food. Bread is fine. Wooden parts. Not too bad. Leather and charcoal. Not too bad. Ale's actually pretty good. We could sell ale. We could sell ale. Like if we built, if we do barley, which we're doing next year, and then we could turn that into beer. Sell it. Quids in. It's an option. Time to lord. Oh yeah, talking of that, I need to build myself a bloody manor, don't I? Uh, I'm gonna put my house here. Not, not, we mean not enough goods. Oh, not enough, not enough planks. It's probably because I keep turning them to shields. Can I just take, can I just tell you to stop? No, I think you're just gonna constantly use planks, aren't you? means I need to increase the number of planks I make to stop you from... In fact, I probably don't need... Got We've got quite a lot of um, a theme of jigs. What should we call it? Um, trees, that's the one. The big leafy things. Big leafy buggers. So we've got 47 stone, which I think is more stone than I actually actively need, so I can stop you from mining stone. And we still have some iron deposits, but not very many. Lumery does have quite a lot of that, which is good. Can upgrade some of you, but some of you still haven't got the thing. I don't have enough wood, firewood, whatever the word is. That's it. That's the one. Could expand the living sp Oh, go on then. I'm half tempted to build another logging camp. Hmm. Well. Ooh, smell. Fire hazards. The only time I've seen anything on fire is when. Let's do that. So we've got seven of those guys, which is not too bad. Uh, it's when the, the bandits killed everyone, which was obviously not ideal. So you're making iron slats, fine. You are making those shields, which is also fine. Got more families moving in. We've still got 44 spaces. August. Um, I could potentially, but I, I feel like I could probably put another field in. Uh, where are we? Where's fields? Farming. There we go. Uh, I'm 
actually going to do barley. Oop. Fallow barley. Let's go with that. I don't think it'll take very long for him to do it. <clears throat> I'm chuckling about explaining the phrase chicken coop to a feudal peasant. <clears throat> Uh, I could actually get some more of them. Mind you, I've blown through a lot of my regional wealth. I think that's because I bought all the sheep. Now I've got quite a few sheep. Which is not too bad, because that means we should have some uh, yarn. Yes, we do, which is great. Are you... See, we've got a cobbler, <clears throat> but I don't know what they're doing. Doesn't seem like they're doing anything. They don't seem to be making anything. They're not using any resources. Any predictions what the game's release price will be like? I don't know. Chicken coop meta. Oh wait, can you like sell eggs and shit? I guess that would make sense. Hang on. Uh, uh, trade, trade, trade. Food. Eggs are. There are only two. My bread's better. But I think... I think ale's probably... Ale's eight. It's probably the highest. <clears throat> so I'm thinking... I'm thinking we go ale meta. Be a booze baron. The problem is... Might as well. Um... I'm actually using all my... I don't know how to sp tell people to stop using planks. It's kind of an issue. Can I, like, reserve... Oh, construction reserve? No. I don't know how to say, please stop using all my planks. I need some to build my mana. Thank you very much. It's kind of an issue. <laughs> I can't stop them. How do I, apart from like knocking down their house, how do I stop them from using all the planks of wood? They're insatiable. Um. Right. Right. Good. Did we, did we ever get uh, two and two? Yes. Okay, that's fine. I'm kind of tempted to get on that hitching post. And maybe get another another doobie what sit there. We've got two months of fuel. Bloody hell. I'm going to do that. I'm going to put another one there. Another one there. And we've got one guy there. Should be fine. Uh, we'll put that as highest priority. We've got, we've got a lot of... Um, we've got a lot of timber. It's just not going to the, the saw pit. I'd say because I've got other building... Cons like... Things, but I don't actually have, think I have many building things going on at the moment. I mean, I guess at least these guys are ticking along. We didn't need more. Sh yeah, we just we don't have any planks, so they're not making any shields. I need I need this. I need I need a priority on this. I could I could like permanent livestock assignment just to. You know what? Let's do that for a minute. Uh, we can get another ox. Let's do that. And then eventually we can upgrade it. I think. I think. I think that's fine. I guess I'm upgrading a bunch of... Yeah, so I'm upgrading these. I think that's why they're taking the... If I've... I'm hoping if, I, if I've put one... There we go. So now it's got a now it's got a permanent livestock thing. I'm hoping that we should get enough 
planks of wood to build my manor. It's early access, so it might change later on. Right now, it's 50% of all the game planned content is in the game. It's, I mean, it's, it's pretty well polished already. It's definitely, it definitely needs, like, more stuff. Um, but overall, I think it's, uh, it's pretty good. Hoping now I've got some. There we go. Now we've got some planks. We got some planks going on. That's what I needed. Ten planks. Uh, then I can build my my mana. Where's my mana? Go away. Go on, shoot. Off you go. Off. Bugger off. Right, mana. I need, I need twenty. I need twenty planks of wood for my mana. Come on, mana. I think now that we've got dedicated ox for the sawmill, I think that's a game changer. Come on. Come on, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. You okay? You want... Hang on. Right, that's not great. What is... Oh. That's the... Yeah. Did look a little bit on fire. Are we going to do anything about that, or what do we do about that? Is there like a a fire thing? Okay, great. Is it getting a little bucket chain going? I mean, it's raining, so that should help. This has somewhat ruined my my wood production of planks. You gonna put it out? How much? How much? Do we actually have any? Yeah, we did have a little bit more. Oh, it was a t it was a tannery. I thought it was the bloomery. Nope, it was a tannery. The tannery was on fire. Why? I don't know. Not 100% sure. Okay, I've got 15 or 36, which is pretty good. How much? 21 plus. Right, right. Stop. Pause. Pause, 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 pause. Mana. I'm going to build my mana here. Right there. I'm just, it's going gonna, gonna to be a nice, nice basic mana. Your own. A little basic mana. Nothing too fancy. Take it down to earth. Have you managed to sort? No, you still have no fuel, despite the fact that there's literally there's people selling wood right down, right, right at the end of your road. What's that? Like a not even a, a minute and a half walk? Bloody idiots. Oh, it's not helping some people. Right, got my mana going on, which is great. And planks, which are helpful. Although, I probably don't need... Now I've got my mana, I don't necessarily need, like, a, a fully dedicated box there. Nice to have, but not a necessity. You upgrade you. How much money do we have? 89. 89, it's not bad. Right. So did we get much bar? Did we get any bar? Is it a granary? It's just berries. Hmm, maybe we didn't. That's fine. We got linen, we got yarn. Are the cobblers doing anything? 
I've not seen any shoes. No shoes. Did I build... I did, but we don't... No, we do have linen. Are you making gambesons? Is that like a military thing? Not you. Oh, it is a military thing. Like, they're outfitting themselves with, with like, armour and shit. Well, that's actually quite useful. That's actually quite useful. Okay, firewoods. We've got we've got two firewood productions now. I always seem to struggle with firewood. We've only got one. We've only got two months of food. I don't think that's true. We've got grain, windmill. Oh, that's how you can press. Oh, there's a pause button. There's a, that's how you stop people. Oh, right. Right. That's how you... There we go. The windmill was paused. Now we're making flour. Uh, charcoal burner. Maybe? I'd need, to, I'd need the point. How do I get another point? Uh, three or higher. So to get someone to three or higher, I would need a tavern supply, which is ale. I would need to upgrade the church, and I would need some clothes. That's actually not... F I mean, that's that's definitely doable. So the church upgrade is fairly straightforward. We would just need some clay furnace. So we can do the clay furnace. We've got someone mining clay. Bop, bop, bop. Job done. Uh, that's fine. Then we also need to turn someone into a um, brewery extension. Oh, but then we also need someone to turn... We need a malt house as well. So we do that. So I think they're doing barley this, this year? We've got policies available, none of which are particularly good. So we've got hunting grounds, wild animals, on rich deposits, breed by societies. We don't have any of those. So then skip fifth mill, uh, reduced approval. Don't really care. And those are both locked and uh, we can't. I mean, that's only slightly vaguely good one, but decrease. I mean, fuck it. Right. How much approval is that going to drop by? It will mean our food will go further. Did run out of bread. Mind you, that's because the, the windmill is turned off. Now that we've got windmill turned on, probably things will go better. I mean, I could. If I had, if I had some of it, so if I had some of which makes dyes, so I'll make a dye place, and then I can get clothing, clothing production going on. That would be pretty good. Running out of food. Are we? Alright, assuming you're correct. What are you doing? I'm doing another thing. I mean, vegetables probably not going to be super useful right now, but... get some more chicken coops. I mean, it doesn't look like we're starving. It's already fine. Plus, I've just realised that we had flour, so with any luck we'll be making some bread soon as well. Not that one. This one? Y yeah, bakery. There we go. So hopefully making some bread as well. There we go. That's sorted that problem out. So, okay, food variety isn't great, admittedly. Clothing is fine, even though I don't know why we're not making... Like, we've got a cobbler, they're not making shoes, I don't know why. We've got the gambeson, which is fine. Um, I need some dye, so we can do that. That will turn berries into dye, not that we have many berries, of course. Which is not ideal. Um, potentially... Oh, well, maybe you've got 41. Got 41. We've actually got another another full regiment. Uh, 
Food for one month. Uh, it's still, it's February, it's almost spring. And then things will be slightly better. We got some more chickens. No storage space left. No, but there's only one storage. You only got, you've only got one log storage. So it's not a massive surprise when you burn through that, is it? Not really. I might actually reduce that down to one, because I don't actually think we need two people there. Okay, food variety is admittedly a little bit on the low side. I, I grant you that. Do I need a bandit camp was sighted? Where is that? Oh, that's the arse end of nowhere. I can't be bothered to walk all the way over there. So yeah, with that. Balls to that, I say. Um, right. Do I need another bakery? Or do I just need more people in there? Where are they, like, where are they transporting to? That's my question. If they've got, right, so you've got some weird spiky flower by the looks of it. Fine. No, you've got a sword. Sorry. You literally have a sword. Okay, so if you, are you transport, are you transporting stuff? The granary, like, what's going on here? Why... You're transporting... What's your name? Those cunts. Okay, so you are transporting... So, is anyone else transporting? Oh, stop stealing food! I need food! Go away! Okay, we've only got eggs. People are only eating eggs. Let's get on protein. I feel like maybe like I mean I know it was twice as effective at making maybe I need maybe I need more bakeries. Maybe that's the problem. We'll make another bakery. You'll not find finer wares anywhere else. Like, I, mean, I don't understand what having more people in here is doing for me. Does it mean they're transporting stuff? It says they're all waiting, they're not doing anything. Like, I may as well just kick him out because they're not actually doing they're not transporting goods where I need them to go. It says pantry. Can I So I wonder if I could get them to transport it somewhere else and then if I could like get it transported to the granary and then the granary could transport it somewhere else. It does accept flour. But then I guess there's enough storage space there that's not... Yeah, so there's 250 storage space there so we can store the flour. But they're not delivering it? Don't don't really know what... What what I need to do. They are making breads. Ooh. Oh dear. Yeah, we're out of food. Well, we got one bread. Don't fight. Oh, uh, we go. Nope, someone ate the bread. Nope, someone ate the bread. It's fine. Well, I say fine. Obviously, it's not fine. It's bad. It's very bad. Maybe we, we could get... I mean, actually, there's, there's like fucking 35 berries there. That's 35 bloody berries. Um... I mean, I could... Could make cloaks. Yeah, but then if we get more armor, that's better, right? Do okay. We got we got some bread. We got some eggs. We got some berries. No vegetables. How is that? Where did that burn down? The fuck? The fuck? You didn't tell me that burned down as well. Are you gonna fix it or what's going on there? We just 
Okay, you, you good? You good? Right, got a little bit more food now, which is fine. Bread is actually increasing, which is nice. Hopefully, where was the other? Right, so you are also, I'm assuming, are you going to fix? It's just, it's just rubble. Do I need to demolish it? I don't know what's going on there. They fixed the other one. It's a bit weird. Okay, vegetables, eggs, breads, blah, 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 blah. Okay. S -s 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 could be worse. Let's get some more veggies. Barley, barley, that's fallow, that's fallow, that's barley. So we're going to get lots of barley, which means we can get the malt house. That will make malt. Then we could potentially trade the ale. So we can establish a trade route. We can export. Desired surplus can be like 15 and everything else. We can trade! That's the plan. Did we have... Oh, was this? Oh, that's the brewery, isn't it? Yeah. The plant, that's, okay, that's the second bakery. You do have flour. It's the other bakery. You've got bread. There we've got... Okay, there we go. That's, that's better. That's better. That's looking better. Is it wells for fighting or is it just just for water. I don't know. I'm also a little bit like, why is this just knocked down? We've actually... Oh shit, we actually need more houses. Holy balls. Mind you, I'm struggling to feed the people I've got. So I don't know if I want more people. Can claim with in I don't know how I don't, mm. oh I do have influence I've got 250 influence holy shit I could tax people a little bit not enough food variety in the marketplace well we're working on it got bread got eggs got vegetables got some berries not much meat oh shit if you hunted wait where's oh god have you Oh, there they are. Wait, why did I put the hunting camp over there? If the wild animals are over there. What was I thinking? Also... What, what was that? Hang on. Why didn't someone, why didn't someone stop me? Why didn't someone stop me from doing the stupid thing? I don't know whether to like just demolish this and then rebuild it. It looks like they're actually like building vegetables, like making vegetables. So I don't know whether just leave them, leave them to it. I seem happy enough. Okay, that's looking slightly better. Build some more, more houses. Let's do something. Ah, something like that. Country is full. Forager huts. Yes, yes, it is. Is if we put someone in the granary, will they? Nope, can't do that because then we won't have anyone actually doing any work say doing our work. Building houses. So it should be another eight coming along, which is good. We could potentially build some of these. So we've got more space. Get some more people in there. It's got a 
tavern. We don't, I believe, have any beer at the moment. Because the malt house hasn't done anything. We're still, are we still not making any clothes? No. Bugger all. So I don't know whether just to... Like, this this is not doing anything for us at the moment. I don't know whether to just kick him out. Can you revert it? You don't seem to be doing anything. So, you're guiding an ox. Which is fine. But that's still not... Like, what? what is... I don't... Like, before when I built a cobblers, they just... They churned out shoes like nobody's business. I had like a million shoes in my, in my marketplace. It's like Devil Wears Prada. But now they're just not doing anything. I'm not entirely sure why. At least the the Gambersons, they're doing stuff. That's good. Does mean our military is now well, very well equipped. I'm feeling pretty happy about this. Generic storage is full. Woodcutters, I'm assuming. Yes. So yeah, again, like, fuel is at 76%, but we've got a load of firewood here. But they're not transporting it, and then the houses aren't picking it up. And I think that's... My problem with this game is that I have no way of understanding why that is. Like, this, this house does not have firewood. Why? Because there's access to it. So what is what is the problem? Why is that not why is that not working? Uh, oh, we've got plenty of. In fact, I can turn you off. I can you know I'll, I'll wait until I've finished mining the clay out, and then we can upgrade the church. There we go. Exhausted, so we can get rid of you because you're no longer useful. I don't need to do that either, so we can demolish and demolish. Don't need either of those. So we've got dyes. Dyes, which is fine. You know what I could actually do? It, well, thinking about this if I go to trade and I go to military my desired surplus is like 30 odd Say 32. Sell the rest. Ooh, look at that. A little stone church is coming together. We've got 51 houses, six on the go. We've got about 42 people currently living in the village. Get some more, get some more building going on. This should make people happier, hopefully. We've got a little bit of taxation there, but they're fine. Not enough food variety. Ah, yeah. Having a laugh. Look at that. Berries, breads, eggs, vegetables. Okay, we don't have any apples or honey, but that's because that's a tech and I don't have it. Four months of fuel, five months of food, laughing. I'm hoping that we can because yeah, we've got loads of small shields. We could just sell the lot and have all the the regional wealth in the world, along with my treasury. These numbers are sure too, they got it covered. Well, at the moment they don't. 
because our cobbler's not making any shoes. He's got clothing. Oh no, he is. Look at it. He's got clothing. He's finally made some shoes. What the f what the fuck was the problem? I paused the building and restarted it, and it seems like I've kicked him into. Yeah, we've made shoes. Okay, good. All right. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why. Ass. In fact, do we have? Where was that? There we go. Cobbler. Right. So buildings. This, this does not really give much information. Resources. Does it say shoes? It's not even like. You'd think it would be in alphabetical order. Shoes. Oh, it requires two leather. Mind you, we've got plenty of leather. Like, leather's not a problem. We've got 40 leather. So, why, why are you having so many issues making shoes? I mean, at least we've got three shoes now. That's something. Take it. Now, that should mean that... Yep, tick, tick, tick. So, we just need a tavern supply. So, we just need um, ale... Need barley into malt into ale and then tavern done and then upgrade in theory. In theory, you've got 30 of those, you've got 16 of those. So you just need linen for that, which again, we've got so much in. I don't, I don't understand. Like, the you want you've just made some shoes, like, good job. What was your problem? You know? Why why were you having an issue? That's what I need to know. Winter, I'll just like knock this down. Don't the other houses burned down too. I guess maybe this is why you should have a well near. But mind you, the well's just over there. It's like it's not far away, and it's raining. Everything's moist. They not repair these then? Oh, there's me stone church. You are happy about that? Church level plus one. Humanity. Well, why doesn't they rebuild it? Why didn't they rebuild that one then? Yeah, they're they're rebuilding that one, but they didn't rebuild these ones for some reason. It's just rubble. Building ID undergoes 75 underscore description. Yep, that's very useful. 
Yes, they rebuilt that one, but these ones they don't seem to want to rebuild for some reason. I guess I'll demolish them then. As soon as you didn't want to rebuild them. Sorry, what's your problem? Oh, it's because there's supplies there. It's more small shields that I don't need. Oh well. I'm hoping we can trade that crap. Okay, we've got some oh, look at this. We've got some we've got some malt. That's what we needed. Got some malt. Go away. Shoe. Go on. Shoe. Thank you. Right, brewery should get the malt. There we go. They're now producing ale, which is exactly what we want. This is what I think should happen. Rather than the whole shoes debacle. Oh, we've currently got still we've still got three shoes. Who needs three shoes? They've only made three shoes and they're not making any more. Which is very confusing to me. I don't entirely understand what the fuck is going on there. Very confused. Um, but the brewery is doing what I you know, what I think it should do. Uh, we can put someone in there. There's three shields? Problem is, I've got so many shields, I don't even know if they're going to take them away. Uh, I might actually pause... Hang on. It's, it's the joiners, isn't it? Yeah, let's pause you for a second, because I feel like we've got a bajillion shields, and I don't need them. We've got 82 shields. In fact, you are literally full of shields. Let's upgrade that. Because that's too many shields. Stocks damaged by weather. Have you gone? You have gone. Lovely. Right, we can rebuild you. Thank you. There we go. Okay, I don't know why those weren't rebuilt. Is it goes for the plots for the hides or the hunters? Um, I am mostly getting my hides from the the hunters. I don't have any goats, but we've still got we got forty four leather in the market. I'm not sure whether the market whether leather is supplied from the market or whether it's supplied from store. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe because there's none in the storage. Maybe that's the issue? I do not know. Here's the brewery making. Okay, we've got 47 malt. The brewery currently has um, two ale. Two bread. Where is the ale? So the malt's going in there. It's the tavern? Okay, the ale's going to the tavern. Which is... Okay, so if we can get some shoes... Is there anywhere that can't... Oh, you can't upgrade. Oh, God, you need... You need clay. And you also need money to upgrade. That sucks. Oh, do you upgrade immediately? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, well, this is, I mean, it's, it's, and plus we'll get another, we'll get another little sleep point thing. And I'm hoping that we're trading some of our small shit, because we've got 121 small shields. Follow merchant. Oh, there he is. Have you bought any of my small shields, sir? Please, sir. Buy my small shields. I don't know if we like need to. Do we need to move this, the shields over there? I don't feel like my ox have been got anything else to do. But I could be wrong. It is, it is, we're definitely getting ale at the tavern. 
that's what we want. This is great. Um, what I might do is change this to making like, I don't know, whatever. Let's make clothes. Because we've still got three shoes at the market. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I mean, right, the blacksmith. The blacksmith is doing is doing stuff. Um, mind you, I don't know if we've got any more iron. There's none there. I don't. There's any. Yeah, we've, we've knocked all that down. So that's. I think we've run out of iron. So we basically can't make anything else. Do I have 121? So we haven't... I don't think we've sold any shields. So units until the desired surplus is reached. Yes. This is... This is correct. You... Uh, sorry, you own a stall. What are you... What are you selling? Firewood, apparently. Why are you selling firewood? What are you transporting? What I want is to sell small shields. I've got so many shields. I don't need them. Okay, you are turning malt into into beer. That's great. We've got the malt house. That's got malt. That's turning that into... Right, that's fine. Good. That's working as I think it should do. And the tavern has beer, which is fine. Food variety is... Really good. We've got loads of food there, which is great. Clothing. We've still got those three shoes for some reason. Not entirely sure why. And I've told you. Right. So you should have linen and dye. No one is. Maybe if I pause you and then tell you to do it again, maybe that will fix you. Wait for the other guys. Tavern supply. Ale. You have ale. Chill the fuck out. Pedaling. Waiting. Well, no wonder you're pedaling. Been there for ages. You've still got sh three shoes in your stall, haven't you? Three sho shoes, two leather, and a yarn. What the f- what the fuck? What is- what does all this mean? What does this mean? At least the blacksmith is upgraded. Or even like another one. Um, there's two families living there. They're both blacksmiths. Which is... Oh, does, does having two people there mean it's like two... Ah, so if you have like, um, like a double house. Mind you, is, is a, is a, is a level three... Oh, it adds levy, it adds extra living space, one extra family. Okay. That is interesting. So yeah, so basically I need more clothing, but I don't understand how clothing works. Because I've got I've got a tailor shop. A Taylor Swift shop. I've got both linen and dyes. Like that's not a problem. But for some reason it doesn't it doesn't like it. Dyes. I don't really understand. I don't really understand why. I, I think there might. I think that might be a problem. That's the only thing I can think of because like, I've got all the resources and I don't understand why they're not going to the right place. Does the trading post need to be manned? Uh, is it not manned? Oh, it isn't manned. Maybe it does need to be manned. That's a very, a very valid point. That is a very valid point. Maybe try manning it and see what happens. We've got 22 timber. I don't think we need... Right, you don't... We don't need that anymore. Manor is fine. Hunting camp is fine. Foraging is also fine. 
uh, yeah, maybe maybe they bring stuff we can trade to the. Was it just lumber? I think it's just lumber. I think they only transport like large materials, like lumber. Because I only see them carrying lumber, and other people seem to transport stuff themselves. But I feel like, I feel like... Oh, we've got four shoes. What does that mean? Okay, so you've now actually got some leather there, but I, I, I so infrequently see any leather in the cobbler shop. So it feels like it's just not reaching there, but I don't know why. You know, I mean, you've got two families now living there, which means there's there's two. But then, but then why? This is my problem. I don't understand why it's not working. Like, is there something I'm doing wrong? Is it the game not doing it right? And that's. Come on. I really like Manor Lords, but I think obviously it is early access. But there's a lot of stuff the game isn't telling you. And I can't tell whether it's something I'm doing wrong or whether it's something the game just isn't doing right. And it's like trying to trying to trying to know. A bandit camp was sighted. Where's that one? All the way over there. Well, that's not useful to me, is it? Could I? 36, 36. So you've got three groups of 36. It's more than I've got. So I've got four shoes. And then this is a tailor shop. But again, like, we've got linen, we've got dyes. I know this. I know this. We've got the dye workshop, which has dyes. There's, there's two families, but they're all waiting. Waiting for what? Like, what is... Because we've got berries. Oh, we don't have berries. Hmm. Hmm. Well, at least, at least food's not, like, catastrophic. Ale's fine. I, I just want to... I, th I think, to be honest, it's probably something to do with the pathing and the the resource collection AI, because I feel like... You've, you've currently got three, three people in this tailor shop waiting. Not enough resources to make what you're supposed to be doing. And I don't really know what the, like... He's waiting. You're waiting. Like what? You're going home. So it's like they're not doing what they should be doing. They're not getting the resources. I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. Like we've got some shoes. But then they've only got one leather. But there's... There's 47 leather at the market. Does then does there need to be leather in the storehouse? Is that the problem? Like if I go for if I go for yarn dies, because I know I've got some yarn in the storehouse. So is it that I'm not producing enough? Is that the problem? Do I need a surplus? Maybe I need a surplus. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe it's because I don't have a surplus of stuff. Because I now have three yarn there. I don't 
dies. Is that because I don't have enough berries? Is that the problem? Okay, also I've now got 511 regional wealth, so I'm assuming we've managed to sell some shields. Oh yes! Managed to sell a shit ton of shields, in fact. So maybe that's the problem. So maybe the, the market needs to be supplied. And it's only if you have extra that other stuff gets fulfilled. So if it's in the storehouse, so like we've got 236 firewood. Does that, does that help? Maybe. In which case you need like a an oversupply of it. So I guess because we don't have enough leather, well I guess what I could do then is put goats in. And then I'd have more hides. That would make more shoes. Job done. Maybe. So we've got loads of planks. So I actually don't need any planks. We've got like a crap load of planks. Uh, saw pit. Well, mm, maybe I, maybe I keep twenty six timber. You know what? I probably I probably don't need that at the moment. So we'll get rid of you. Hopefully we'll get some more Get some more leather. Get some berries. Hopefully. Get some dyes. I'm not even sure well, I'll turn that down to one because I don't think we need it. We've got five people not doing anything. Which is fine. Do the shoes as fast as I can. I'm a true craftsman, you'll see. Tough shit. I need, I need those shoes now. Okay, we have a cloak. So maybe that's it. Maybe you need... Anything in the market is not effectively being used in the production. So even though it says you have leather, what it means is you don't have enough leather to supply the market and also cloth production. Talking about how many... Mm. Light workshop, clay furnace. Uh, probably want one person in the clay furnace just to be on the safe side. got a lot of food, but it doesn't seem to be enough. Uh, I got wool. So we don't have any clothes. We've got seven shoes and one cloak. I, I, I think I need more info. Like, I need to know more information here. I need to know, like, someone's going to get dye. Someone's going to get yarn. How much spare do we have? What's production? Hello? Hello, Poppet? Well, I think we're about to have some visitors. Mm. 
34, 34, 36, 35. I've got some buddies. Some nasty brigands. It's fine. The market is there to distribute resources to the people. Leather is used by uh, tier one house, I believe. Switch the top, uh, which causes a present in the region. Yeah, but like, if you've got leather in the market and a cobbler who needs leather, does the market supply the cobbler or does the leather the cobbler needs come from like storage? So basically, and then how do you make that split? So, like, how do you go? This is how much I percentage I want to go to the storage rather than go to the market to keep my, you know, other productions going. Otherwise, that just seems like a kind of a kind of bit weird. going. So our retinue guys, I think, are like significantly more combat effective. As you can see, their combat effective is now dropping. Why mine is worse though? Like the brigands seem to always have fairly good combat effectiveness for some reason, and my guys seem to have worse, even though I win the fight. Like there's 97. Why is that? Like, what am I doing wrong? Them. We should be able to dispatch them fairly easily. No clue how to manage that though. No. You reckon you cost 300 a piece? The fuck? Three hundred a piece. See again, it doesn't it doesn't tell you that <laughs> it's doesn't go, oh yeah, by the way. It's just an FYI. Uh, uh right, blacksmith join us. Get you making that, which is fine. Uh brewery. You don't have I mean you, you are literally the one making the beer. If you don't have a tavern supply, I don't want to tell you, mate. Oh, I lost two of them. That's not good. If you build a tower for it. Neat. Neat. Oh, shit, I lost two of them. That's what? Th three, three, six, nine. Well, that's, a, that's a lot of money in the hole. Oh well. I like this game. I think it's got a lot of a lot of potential. 
but its current state, it's very, um, it's, it's not, it's not telling you everything it needs to. I mean, you can tell that from, from things like, you know, the, the building descriptions being building underscore 96 underscore, underscore description. Okay, we need to build a big, big corpse pile. But no more retinue costs 300 each. I would have kept them out of fight. Jesus. Ah, oh, Celevi. Okay, so we got some yarn down here. Like, is there? If you doesn't show, but instead it shows the availability. Buki game pops to the market on the first one. It feels like it can be the first one. Okay, so cascading effect. Fails always have a worse time upgrading. Fair enough. Yeah, so it's just nothing that really goes... Oh yeah, by the way. Upgrades. Stock. Right, reserved. Stock which is dedicated. No way to kind of say this is what I want. kind of see that but there's also things that you just it doesn't matter what speed you're on it doesn't really I've got a cobbler I need leather they're not getting leather where should they be getting leather from do they buy leather from the marketplace do they get it from the large storage house it seems like they get it from the large storage house how do I tell the leather to go to the large storage house like what at what point do I go do I just need an over overproduction of it is that the problem That's the thing. That's where I'm coming down from. I'm kind of saying I don't. I know what I want to do, but I have. I feel like I don't have any way of doing it. So we now have some shoes and some cloaks, but I, I don't feel like I've got any control over that. It, it's sort of happening, but I don't know what what levers to pull to make it a thing. That's my problem. Uh, 44 or 45. Okay, we've got plenty, plenty of places to live. Loads of money. Uh, I feel like maybe we just need more. Oh, we've got goat. Goat. Get the goat. It's the goat. Uh, we'll go with more trucks. Like even the even the brewery here, right? Oh, I guess we don't have any malt. All right, I'll 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 give them that. I'll get I I will give them that. We just don't have any any malt spare, which is why the tavern has run out of ale. So that seemed to work quite well. So I'm guessing it's because we just don't. Like there's 48 leather there. But there's not enough to then go to. We've got loads of firewood, so I guess I don't need. Fire, so I can maybe get rid of you. But then it says we've only got oh, seven months there, so that's actually not too bad. 
Uh, what I might do is demolish that. Which I guess is fine. We got some herbs. Whatever good that is. We got planks. We got firewood. We got roof tiles. <coughs> My lord's just like, Mitchell was it's about farming. You know, it definitely has the potential of being improved on. First month of it, so it will mainly be bug fixing some minor fi patches. Great depth said so for focus improvement. I think that will help. I think as if if it kind of says, ah, you do not have a surplus of this, so therefore it's not being it's not being like collected. Um, but also I think just understanding the process. Of, of what is, is happening where I think would help as well. Like transporting shoes, great. But where are they like, where are they getting their resources from? Who's getting them? Where does it go? Waiting, waiting, peddling. Transport, so you're transporting small shields, which is good to know. I think, you know what, trading trading shields, super good idea. Ale's actually too hard to get. Small shields, on the other hand, that's a renewable resource. My friend, super useful. So I really like this. I, I love the way it looks. Like, when you when you can, like, come down and have a, have a wander around. Like, does this not just look great? Look at my big pointy shoes. Come one, come all. Feast your eyes on our fine selection. Fine selection of what? Poor quality, you say. Possibly. Leather, fine selection leather. of what? Like, it just, it looks great, and... It comes together nicely. There's a lot of lot of good things there. I just think the um, the logistics, the logistics either needs more explaining or better 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 visibility about what what's going where. Generic story. Oh yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I don't really care about that. Forager hut. Is it? I disagree with that. But yeah, otherwise, looks really nice, plays really nice, just it's, it's nicely polished. I mean, it's certainly better than that um, Orcs settlement game I, I played during Steam Next Fest. Like, huge improvement on that. I think our food is good. Clothing is fine. Now, we've, we're actually making shoes. So that's nice. So maybe... But again, I'm not 100%. I'm not 100% sure what. Hey, leave the voice acting alone. Ah, oh, oh, the AI voice acting was so bad. It was so bad. Oh, what makes them think they can get away with it? What makes them think they can do AI voice acting? It's like, oh yeah, no, this, this, this is fine. This is, I mean, J Jesus Christ, just leave it to text. It's, it's, it's just so. Oh, it's so bad. I think maybe that's it. I think maybe basically you need an over... So we, we're getting leather in the large storehouse now, and I think that is what we need. I think if you don't have enough to supply... If you've only got enough to supply the marketplace, that's not good enough. It won't be used for anything else. So I think that's the problem. You need an oversupply, which is fine. Now I know that. But also, just don't... Hang on. Die, die workshop. You've actually got a market stall. What are you? S oh, you're selling. So I guess where you live, you have vegetables. So you're selling that. Is that right? Or maybe you're selling berries? I don't know. I don't know what you're doing. 
So you're a so you're a dyer. Wait, who's a dyer? You? Why are you why are you selling carrots? What? <laughs> I don't understand. Right, people, you are peddling. You live. Okay, so are you selling? You're selling vegetables from your garden. I take it. But then, who's doing the dyes? If you're selling shit, who's doing the dyeing? Is it because you don't have any berries to dye? Is that the problem? Again, we'd just like more information on that. Like, why are you doing this activity instead of the activity I want you to do? I'm going to move your house over here. Okay. What are you going to do now? Hey, what are you going to do now? I've moved it. What now? That's it. Fuck off. What are you actually doing? He's now just waiting. Why is that rubble? Step right up and sell it. Now he's plowing by hand. Berries so plump and juicy. Come warm, come on. And by the bush it's dry. Okay, cool. I'm assuming that's because he doesn't have any berries to to die. And so therefore that's why he's doing that. Uh, where's the bear? Uh, there's the forager hut. They do have berries though, so they've got berries. But it's done at the forager hut because the person who should be dying them is currently plowing vegetables instead. I guess. I guess. And why are you like trans? Right, what are you transporting? Are you transporting berries? What are you doing? Are you transporting berries? Let's find out. Come back. Come back. There you go. Right. Right, you got some berries. You're going. Right. You're crafting. You're crafting some dyes. That's great. What about you? What are you doing? You're now right. You're doing that right. So you you're at least doing some die. Then you are taking it to Okay. Is that what you did? doing you're transporting berries what are you doing can't actually see what you're doing it just says you're transporting you're transporting a basket Wait, what? Why does it look like you've just transported berries? What the fuck is going on? It's like they're taking berries from the dyer's workshop and then taking them to the market instead. Flute go mental. He's absolutely wrecking that flute. Ends up by smashing it into an ox's face. Very confused. It's almost like they're like supplying the food store with ber You're transporting berries. Why? Where? H Heinz? 
pints. Where the fuck are you going? Berries? Are you transporting berries? What's going on? Do you get them from the market? Do you get them from the... Okay, so now die inside. We're transporting berries. Where did Mrs. go? So you, no, you've just you've just, you you were not carrying anything before. So you've just picked up berries from the dye workshop, allegedly. Where are you going with that? Where are you going? Right. So you. Why have you taken berries from the dye workshop and taken them to a food store? Absolute sociopath. <laughs> you just collected more. I don't know. Like she was, she was, she was transporting berries. She now is. It says she's transporting. It still says, but she moved. She went to the food stall, and now she's not carrying anything. So I think she was transporting berries from the dye workshop to the market, which is fucking insane because that's not what you. The, the dye workshop needs berries, so if you take the berries away from the dye... I'm a little bit confused about what they're trying to achieve here. So they've just made dye. You know how to transport... Well, that makes sense, because you're transporting berries, right? So you know, come along. What are you doing? You're waiting. Transporting berries here. There is still dye here, so you're not going to go and get more berries. Let's try and work out what the fuck they're doing. Okay. You? What are you doing? You're transporting. What are you transporting? You? are also transporting. Like, what are you... Are you carrying dye? Because there's still dye there. So you're going to get more berries. Are oh, you transporting dyes? You. So I guess at least you're transporting dice. That's something. I'm still fairly confused. I feel like there's something going on with them transporting goods to the market when they don't necessarily need them. But I'm mightily confused. But it's probably because it's it's quarter past midnight and I should be in bed. All right. Well, what what's that? You know what? I might just. I bet Party Elite has done some videos, and I bet he's like knows what the fuck is going on far better than I do. Because I'm a little bit I'm a little bit perplexed. I wouldn't mind if resources immediately get taken to the storage house or the granary and from there they then got distributed, but it seems like they get instantly transported to the marketplace and then some of them don't get used. Which I'm a little bit, a little bit confuzzled by, personally. Just, I don't, I don't understand. Right, you know what? I'm gonna like this is just we're just every everyone. Everyone. How much dye can we make where we've got everyone transporting berries? Right, because if we go to the forager hut, there's 41 berries there. There's plenty of berries to be had. So we should be making buttloads of dye. Look at this. A whole berry party going on. Okay, now we're making dye. Now it's kicking off. 
There are a lot of people transporting berries. I don't know why, because there's like what if you're all transporting berries, where the fuck are the berries? Some top investig <laughs> The case of the berry what the fuck? Look at all these Goombas hanging around, allegedly transporting berries. Transporting what berries? Transporting what berries, gur whores? Transporting them fucking where? Because you got pantry storage. They are they are transporting berries, but I swear you just took a, you just took berries away, didn't you? I swear some of them are taking berries out. She did. That just went down one. Where the fuck are you? Right, you, you, Anna, Anna, Anna. Where are you going, Anna? If you go to the market, I'm going to lose my fucking mind. <gasps> you son of a bitch! They are. They're transporting berries from the dyer to the market. Which would suggest that even if you are getting resources to some of these, it might be that they're instantly transporting them to the market. Like if they've got a free a free resource or something, it seems like if the market is an overriding requirement. So therefore, if there is a spot... Yeah, but then... That would work for everything, wouldn't it? Because if you've got clothing, if you've got, like, leather, for example, and they go, okay, I will transport leather to the cobblers, and then the cobbler immediately goes, oh, look, leather, I better take that to the market. And so, therefore, your cobblers ends up with no leather unless there's enough leather at the market to, to like, not worry them. So if there's if there's a hundred percent leather at the market, they just think, okay, I won't bother transporting it then. At which point they go, oh shit, I should probably make shoes out of this. Hello, lion. They're sitting from you, me, Lord. Send your retinue guys. <laughs> when you say guys, I've only got one left actually. But yeah, it looks it looks like they're instantly transporting that, because that lady took a berry from here and took it to the market. When this this workshop uses berries to make dye but they can't use they can't make the dye if they've got no fucking berries because they keep taking them to the fucking market which would make a lot of sense um i'm not really sure what to do with that information well um the case of the missing berries solved another case it's been a hell of a week. Have my tits got bigger? I don't know. Um, <laughs> fuck's sake. Love you too, Nuffy. Uh, well, I mean, that would explain why some of the resources just aren't, aren't doing anything. Oh, uh, we can't do any of this. It's all locked. There's production as well, but that doesn't do anything. Um, I could get a charcoal kill. make firewood twice as efficient. I can find the thick there we go. Convert firewoods into God he's a big bugger isn't he? He's a big bugger. Alright I'm we'll stuck in there. Um good. Well I guess that kind of explains why some of the there's some resource issues there. If they're, if they're like, if, and I, I mean, I've only just checked the, the, the dye workshop, but if that's happening across the board, then if they're constantly transporting materials around that don't need to be transported because the market's like an overriding prerogative to them, 
Like if that's if that's when resources need to go immediately, and so rather than leave it at their own workshop, they just immediately transport. That would explain why, and also means they're doing a lot of journeys that they really don't fucking need to. You'll be beautiful than I remember you. Are you right, Lion? We need a cold shower or something. I mean, I don't mind you, you know, lusting over me. That's fine. But I'm a middle-aged British man in a in a dressing gown, so. I feel like I'm, I'm not going too far when I say you can probably do better. In fact, I'll go so far as to say almost certainly do better. Well, okay, so... I don't see the problem. It's <laughs> fair enough. Then. The heart wants what the heart wants, obviously. Um, I might actually, I might raise that as like, uh, should this be happening? Because I don't think it should be happening. Where are you, are you where, where, where are you, oh, this is going to be interesting, where are you transporting? Crafting, crafting, crafting. So you've got three bits of firewood. sitting on oh you've got bits of wood to sit on all right that's a hell of a job isn't it i mean that that seems to be working maybe it's just because we don't have many berries to see if anyone like brings wood and then immediately turns around and takes the wood away. Four wood, five wood, six wood. I see that seems to be okay. Five, four, but then I guess, hmm. Hang on. People. What are you transporting? Transporting five. Yeah, they know they do. They no, you're bringing it too. What about you? No, you're transporting firewood. Margaret. Margaret is taking firewood. So she, there was firewood at the charcoal place, which consumes firewood. Margaret went to the firewood place, the charcoal place. She's taken firewood and she's now taking it. And I'm guessing it. She's taking it back to the market. Taking it to a firewood stall. Yep, yep. There we go. So it looks like the the little little guys in Manor Lords are needlessly transporting resources around where they really don't need to. Sure, they must be aware of this. I would fucking hope so. But it does split. It does explain a lot to me. They're needlessly transporting resources around. Well, well solved that fucking problem, didn't I? I mean, I'm guessing they, they must have been somewhat aware of it. How bloody weird. Yes, it is a bit weird, isn't it? Um, I might go into the Discord in a bit and uh, sort of say, Did you know that's what's happening? However, on that bombshell, I'm going to go to bed because I need my beauty sleep. You don't look this good through running yourself ragged and, and playing video games until one o'clock in the morning. Um, Pretty game breaking. Slows you down massively. Yes, it certainly is not super efficient. Um, I'm a, I mean, they, they must be aware of it, I would guess. Oh, well. Anyway, on that bombshell, I'm going to end it there. Thank you very much for watching this Galactica stream. And uh, <laughs> hope you have a good evening, and I'll see you. No, I'll, be, I'll probably be streaming next week some um, some some Total Warhammer, so that'll be happening. But until then, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you. See you next time.